is hot. You get to give me all you got.
morning, everybody. Hey, uh, welcome to Clay Pigeon Raceway. We're back again. Uh, so we got ten lap practice today. So uh, I thought I'm not going to get here too quick. Uh, but welcome to a new round, another round we go uh, once again. But first and foremost, uh, let's get the audio out on track. And uh, let's also let me do a audio check for myself. So I hopefully am sounding okay. <laughs> Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Like I said, this is another round of the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships. And like it is, it's round number five. We're halfway! Even though the title doesn't say halfway. Oh yeah, it doesn't say halfway, does it? Let's uh, change that one. It says, uh, halaf, halfway. There we go. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> Uh, so like I said, it's a new round, so uh, we've got lots going on, and foremost, and there's the weather for you, it's very hot, but there is cloud cover, so it's going to make for a lovely, lovely day out on circuit, but hopefully the heat doesn't get to the drivers, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that one turns out throughout today. Now I just realised my cameras are in the wrong order as well, so we're off to a good start. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. You see, we'll we'll get there eventually. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, uh, another day is here. Hopefully, you're all doing all right at home. But let's first off kick start off with the program of events for today. So this is round number five, as we all know. So the running order for today is as follows. It's Honda and Rotax Cadets, followed by the Intermaxes, Junior Rotax, Senior Rotax, then the 177s. That is pretty much the usual uh, run through of these championships here. So practice that is out on circuit at the moment is 10 minutes uh, and you must complete at least three of them, which uh, all drivers are doing. Heats are eight minutes plus a lap. Uh, which is, again, familiar to uh, other times as well. Uh, finals are 12 minutes plus a lap. Uh, which is going to be pretty good. The heats will obviously start after the 177 Rotax practice, which is uh, later on today. we still got lots more to go through yet. <laughs> So we roughly have 62 drivers, that was correct, of the night. So I did these graphics on Friday. And here are your grid numbers as follows. Intermax being the smallest this round. Uh, we've lost the driver for the 177s, but the Junior Rotax out in full force with 26 drivers, uh, which I absolutely love doing. The Junior Rotax this year, absolutely crazy. Uh, Jack Philpott saying on the YouTube live stream, good luck Charlie Cox in the Junior Rotax. He's out there at the moment. No, he's not. The senior's out at the moment. He's not out there at the moment. But there we go. That is the program of events, basically, for today. Now, first of all, I haven't mentioned who I am. If you are familiar with these live streams, you know who I am. My name's Alex, and I'm going to be here for the next six or so hours uh, for this race here. Uh, at the circuit, so uh, hopefully you'll all enjoy. Hello everybody who's just tuning in as well, don't worry, you've not missed anything. Uh, we have a uh, 10 minute practice, so it uh, gives me plenty of time to introduce the live stream and uh, also get ready for the live stream as well, hence why I was a little bit later starting uh, in the order. So, let's see how this one goes. Snorbit's saying good luck to all at BKC, so uh, good luck to all the drivers in BKC. I can see that awning just at the top uh, of the circuit, right next to the entrance, their favourite spot 
which is brilliant. Uh, so if you are watching and you're uh, watching at the circuit, make sure you keep yourselves nice and refreshed today. Uh, like I said, the weather is absolutely scorching, but we have cloud cover, so it's not too bad and uh, just makes it all right for everybody up here. Uh, and for myself as well, I do have my biggest fan with me. Quite literally, there's a fan, and it's fairly big. Anyway. <laughs> so, let's show you the new look for the show. As you can see, we've ditched the times at the top right. Uh, Alpha timing uh, have changed their look for the overall experience. So there's a lot more new features, which means I'm now going to be showing uh, all of those on the left-hand side of the screen, which opens up the right side of the screen a little bit more. Hopefully you will enjoy that new look. Obviously, I haven't introduced the time uh, into the streams, unfortunately, so we have lost uh, how much is remaining on the clock, uh, but nevertheless, uh, just gives us a little bit of a refresh to design. And as you can see, it says running uh, senior Rotax practice, and hopefully that all fits on the screen in that little area perfectly, because I haven't tried it out yet uh, <laughs> with uh, some of our bigger grids. But it looks like it should be okay. Right then, so let's get into other parts of this YouTube live stream, which is going to be uh, the standings for, well, the standings after round number four. So who is where in the championship? Let's have a look. Uh, this is after round four. I just want to say a massive shout out to the Roberts family for the drone footage you see in the background. But let's go. For the Honda Cadets then, Ethan Cousins still leads away with 675 points. Luke McGall with 644. Charlie White is 432, so there's a massive gap between second and third uh, in the halfway point of this race. Zach Ormshaw with 404 points and two points behind is Nikita Roberts, the driver that is driving in the background of these drone shots. Uh, Tommy Morris hanging in there, 371 points in sixth. And Dewey Hockridge jumping up onto the top seven, uh, top seven uh, in this lineup uh, with 251, so a new leader for... Uh, uh, sorry, a new entry for this one, but uh, Ethan Cousins still leading the way uh, in this one. So new graphics just to show you the changes that goes on uh, between rounds. So into Max then, Ava Morris still leads the way, 611 points. Kian Downer goes up to second, 529 points, so a massive jump from him. Rook Thompson up to third, 434, uh, down into fourth. So Jacob Davis, I believe, was second in the championship last time. Out this time, he's down to fourth with 407 points. Devin Taylor down to fifth, 380. Jack Price just hangs out in the Intermax in sixth. There's no move from him with 277. And Aiden Clark reaches into the top seven for the graphics at 139 points. So there's a huge gap between first and seventh. And that's because the numbers for Intermax are not too big, especially this round. So Junior Rotax had a very competitive grid this year. And Jack West and Daniel Tribe don't move in the table uh, in first and second Jack West and Daniel Tribe respectively 565 and 543 Joshua Withcombe and Jarek Metters jump up the order to third and fourth respectively 531 points for Withcombe and 529 for Metters Arthur Thacker down to fifth position with 511 and then Lucas Howe down to sixth position 498 last time out he was second position so uh, a massive fall for him Jasmine Taylor just hangs out in the top seven with 459 I'm getting raindrops here. <laughs> oh no! Right, senior Rotax then, and there's only one move to be made as the top five are unchanged. So Leo purchased 555 points. Jack Maiden 509 with Daniel Beards with 474. Bertie Wellesley 465 in the championship stays at fourth. Patrick Williams Rahag uh, on his last novice race today uh, with 443 as the rain falls at Clay Pigeon Raceway. Finn Smith jumps into the top seven up to sixth position for 427. And then Rosie Armstrong uh, off her novice plates for the first time. Uh, now at 412. And we have rain here at Clay Pigeon. It, it's actually raining. <laughs> um, so this is something. I'm still running through the, <laughs> the championship standings. Uh, 177 Rotax then. Harrison Crook leads away by a storming <laughs> a margin here. Uh, 672 in second is Ian Brownfield with 606. What a gap between those two. 
Cameron Marston with 577 points, Ben Johnson 565, Derek Hunt with 513, and Jason Bear and Ian Hardy swap places. Jason Bear up into sixth with 409, and Ian Hardy down to seventh, 385. So that's your championship standings after round number four here. Uh, if you do want to re-watch all of this, uh, the graphics are available on the Clay Pigeon Cart Club Facebook page, uh, where I upload this as a raw copy. But there we go. That's your championship standings. They are behind me. Uh, good luck to all the drivers and mechanics at Racing Perfection slash Beryl. Uh, yes, they are below me. <laughs> I hear and see them all the time. A very friendly bunch. They always say hello to me in the mornings. So as you can see, raindrops are falling and they're actually falling uh, in a different direction to usual. Uh, so this camera is showing that angle for you all. So yes, a little bit of change in weather, which was unexpected actually. <laughs> um, it said my watch was saying rain due to stop at your location in a bit, not start. This is Clay Pigeon though, it ignores the rules that we have for weather. Who needs the weather? Uh, microphone is outside, um, so hopefully that survives uh, the rainfall. That one is not water tested yet. Uh, but yes, we do have a wet circuit indeed. Slippy, slippy, slippy. That's what we like though, a little bit of change, you know? So on to our last practice session, uh, which is going to uh, be a lot different to what we were, well, they were expecting uh, just a few moments ago. So they come flying carefully onto the track, and by the looks of it, uh, because they were uh, already on the grid, they've not had a chance to swap out of their Maxxis Sport tyres. Uh, so they are slick out there. This is going to be the slowest six drivers on circuit. And yes, we do have six drivers out here today, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, great to see that we have six and not five. Uh, so I think some of our camera angles are going to be a little bit dodgy today. Just a little bit dodgy. Let's go to the main screen for everybody here uh, on the YouTube live stream. As you can see, there is just practice running right now for you all. <laughs> Some of the engines just revving wild. Just where it's so wet, like all of them, they're all out on slicks, bless them. 57 seconds is the fastest out there. So far, the rest on in the minutes. Uh, real shame that they've had to practice like this. They ain't going to get anything out of this uh, today. Well, they are actually. They're going to get out a, a bit of a... Uh, a uh, wet practice on the slicks uh, which not everybody does to be honest some people don't like it and uh, my message is on the top right when they pop up through this live stream so yeah if you only just tuned in there is a slight change with the graphics on this round uh, for the youtube live stream uh, most of them are the same it's just what you see on the left as uh, alpha timing did change their uh, overall design with the live timing screens uh, so uh, pretty cool to see some new features, but also for me, it's an absolute pain to keep moving it all. <laughs> and I'm already missing how much time is left on the YouTube live stream. <laughs> I forget how many times I actually look at it on here. So some drivers just trying to keep it out of the grass, keep it out of the dirt, um, whilst they are out there just <laughs> tippy-toeing around the circuit. They are getting into the 55, so... Crazy what a little downpour can do. I don't think it's rained since. I think we only just had that little downpour. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we love a bit of rain, don't we? Apart from, I think, one's in the tyre wall, though, down at the hairpin. <laughs> oh, dear. This is what we get when, uh, when the weather's a bit dodgy. Um, but, yeah, we've been due rain for a couple of days now, actually. They, um... Yeah, it's been one of those sort of like, oh, I don't know. Don't know what the weather's going to do. Uh, but Ian Brownfield going around to do his three laps. We've had James Frost only do two laps. So I think he might be told to go back out for one extra just to comply with the rules. He 
hits a very slow three. There we go. Uh, James Frost back out so he can complete his three laps there. Um, it's <laughs> a slow three laps. It's like watching Dancing on Ice, but with cars in the, the rain. So it's not really Dancing on Ice, is it? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, okay. it's going to be a long day, folks. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. Uh, so, yes, we're going to be live throughout the rest of today. Uh, so do stay tuned uh, as we go for it. Someone's at my front door. When I say my front door. I mean my parents' front door because I live with my parents. Blah, 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 blah. I finally have my WhatsApp available to me so I can uh, speak to the timekeeper throughout today. Simon Witty down in timing, keeping everything tickety-boo. Literally, ticking, ticket, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Terrible puns every time. <laughs> That's what we're here for, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why 10 minute practice is a bit long for me. <laughs> we end up waffling. So, welcome to everybody in the YouTube chats. If you are supporting anybody throughout today, then uh, just pop into the chat. I'll pop it over the tunnel during the races when I spot it and see it. And uh, feel free to have a chat with me as well. It's always I always love interacting with everybody at home and wherever you are. We get viewers from all over the place. Quite literally, we get people from, I think last time, uh, Dickon Roberts was in S Sweden, I think. I think he was in Sweden. I wonder where he is this time, if he's watching. And then we have uh, Czech Republic is another location that we get viewers from. So, yeah, we get we get viewers from all over the place. So, if you are in a lovely, nice, warm location that is in Clay Pigeon Raceway, well, it is Clay Pigeon Raceway, but it's actually more drier, then uh, let us know. Do let us know. But this track is... <laughs> Just with that little downpour is wet as anything as I take my sunglasses off my head. Let's get rid of that for a minute as uh, we only have a single driver out on circuit. Brave in the weather. Who is that? That's the 22, Derek Hunt. He's getting the most out of this 10 minutes. As he tiptoes around the circuit, I wonder if he's going to come in on this lap or is he going to keep going round? Uh, obviously, these wet conditions slick, and he's going into the pits. Ooh. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to your grid then for the Honda Cadet and Rotax Cadet Heat number one. Yes, today uh, they are combined together as we have only a few limited uh, Rotax Cadets. Uh, so, Oliver... Oliver Ratten and Ethan Copeland on the front row with Ethan Cousins, the WC plate. Oh, we get to see them now. And Nikita Roberts uh, on the second row. Yes, we're going to see some WC plates now uh, hit the uh, hit the grid, which is going to be awesome. Uh, all of the champions, uh, I've, I've left them all uh, on the Facebook banner for the Clay Pigeon Kart Club. I love seeing the WC plate champions. It's lovely. It's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Uh, third row, Charlie White, Zach Ormshaw. So we've got the Ormshaw brothers back out again, do we? Do we have both of them? We'll find out very shortly. And uh, this screen is available inside the building as well, if you are watching here at the circuit. A lot of novices on the list as well. Tommy Morris uh, is one of them in 16th position. Elijah West in 15th position. Let's have a look. Oh, yep, Finley Ormshorn's out there. Uh, not off his novice plates just yet, as uh, I think Zach Ormshorn has been here a couple more times than him. Nevertheless, they're both very competitive, the two brothers anyway. So, yeah, we're going to see some uh, some uh, some decent racing all round as the timekeeper leaves the building. So, I don't think we're going to get underway just yet. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I, I think that's going to be on screen as well. <laughs> He blew some kisses. <laughs> so, I'm pretty excited for today. It's it's really weird uh, that coming out uh, every month, just once a month of commentary. I do enjoy commentating uh, a lot of the races that we see here today. 
uh, or, or well, in the Clay Pigeon Kart Club for championships. We get some real good competition that goes on here, uh, especially this year. The Junior Rotex is one to look out for if you are excited for some action-packed racing. Uh, that is the one to look out for as uh, 26 drivers uh, out on circuit. I think we average about 24 or 25 junior road tax and that's every single round which is amazing so thank you to everybody who does join that madhouse of the junior road tax races and uh, hopefully we get to uh, watch all the races this time round uh, this month last round uh, requested to uh, from the clay pigeon kart club not to broadcast the junior road tax race um, so we did uh, just by showing live timing so we do have a new view for that uh, which I can show you guys just here so live timing uh, this is what we will see now, and uh, it's a little bit... Oh, it's a little bit broken. What the... Oh, what's going on here? Whoop. There we go. Fix that bad boy. Uh, but yeah, this is the view that we have. So you've got the uh, most of the graphic here for uh, the alpha timing. As I still fiddle with it. It's not a finished product, as you could probably tell. Um, but yes, we get uh, some pretty good view with this one. See, I edit on the go. You know, this is technical stuff with uh, Alex. As I break everything in the process, mind. <laughs> See, this isn't a Kart Club Championships without me having a... Uh, move around of all the graphic but yeah this is what we get to see now ladies and gentlemen the new view for everything else and as you can also see uh, there is a new thing for results as well so at the end of it you'll either see result v1 or provisional result uh, obviously everything isn't final until you see it on the screen there so yeah some new features on alpha timing if you go to live.alphatiming.co.uk forward slash cpkc you can see those updates that alpha timing have done to the track uh, and the track is that quiet there is a seagull on the track Wait, what's a seagull doing this far out? <laughs> Mate, you're lost. <laughs> Go back to sea. Hopefully this isn't going out of the town. This is going to be really embarrassing for myself. How to stream with me. <laughs> How to stream with Alex Downs. One, prepare the stream and then still edit it live. I see a wild Bertie Wellesley talking to himself by the looks of it. Got his noise cancelling earphones. Are they beats? <laughs> I wonder if that's him listening to the YouTube live stream as he goes through or if he's listening to some sick beats. <laughs> he's just off the screen, unfortunately. Hang on. There he is! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think he watches his back as well, so that's going to be quite funny. <laughs> be more embarrassing if it wasn't him and I've <laughs> just lied. Oh dear, right. Hopefully we'll be able to get underway very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. I am waiting as much as you are as you listen to me waffle on for like who knows how long. And uh, yeah, I'll be over the tannoy shortly, probably, maybe. I don't know. See the marshals over at post three and four? Pretty friendly bunch, actually, the marshals. Always got to say thank you, team marshals, because obviously without them, there is no racing uh, able to be done. And obviously all the officials as well. You can't remember that. And Simon Whitty down in Timon. We didn't have a timekeeper. <laughs> Pretty stuffed, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just waffling on at this point. <laughs> It ain't a cart club championships without a waffle. A load of waffling from me. Oh, dear old dear. So a lot of drivers, uh, sorry, mechanics getting ready to watch this one, including a mystical Jeff Johnson from Pro Car Engineering. Lovely chap he is. Good luck to Ethan Cousins. Hashtag WC. Indeed, the WC plates. What emoji is that? Is that a palace with a love heart on it? <laughs> Simon Whitty? Hello. 
He has control of the chat as well. It's scary what he's going to put next. He had a cracking joke this morning, though. How does the rock pee? He dwains his Johnson. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I found that really funny. That was 100% my joke, not Simon <laughs> Ready, chicken? Are you ready? I am ready. Let's get ready to rumble. That seagull's finally gone away. He's had enough. Probably thinking, where's where the where, where's the sea? Where's the beach? <laughs> oh, I hear carts. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, radio chatter. Wasn't listening to you. Oh. <laughs> Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Honda Cadet and Rotax Cadet Heat number one. We're live over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash at Clay Pigeon Cart Club. So we go for the formation lap for the first heat of the day and the first heat of round number five. I always seem to have a uh, tannoy voice when I uh, <laughs> live stream... Uh, on the YouTube and then onto the tannoy, but there we go. Uh, so the track is a little bit damp, but hopefully shall dry up throughout this one with a little bit of showers uh, when we started off uh, today. So Jeff can't hear me. So coming down the main straight then, and we will be going back round again. can't hear me on the tannoy. I did turn it down one. Right then, uh, false start, so we'll be going back round again. I'll have to uh, turn up the tannoy a little bit later on. That's a note to myself. I fixed it. Right, <laughs> let's go for the start of this race then. Let's see what we're going to get from the first heat. So, down the main straight we come. Turns out I have to turn on direct monitor on the thing. Uh, false start once again. Yeah, turns out I need to put uh, direct monitor on, otherwise I don't come through the tannoy. That's a good, good one to know. <laughs> So let's get these ones slowed right down, and then we should hopefully be able to get this one underway. Uh, so we are live over on YouTube as well, so if you do want to catch back some of the action or this and some extra new graphic overlays, whoa, that was close, uh, then head over to youtube.com forward slash at Clay Pigeon Cart Club, and uh, you'll be able to see everything that we've got going on there. But nevertheless, let's see if we can get this race underway for the third time And it is indeed the third time round as we get ready for the first heat of round number five. So into Billy's Blind we go. Uh, everyone keeping it on the tarmac. Through the S's, that is dried up quite nicely as well. And then down the back straight towards the hairpin. So around the hairpin we go here. Who is leading the way to begin with? Let's find out. That looks like it is the 43. It's so a 43 of Ethan Coupland. So up to the top bend. Down the main straight we come and let's give your order for the start of this one. So it's Ethan Coupland followed by the WC plate of Ethan Cousins. Wearing that one for the first time. Oliver w Ratton in third place with Charlie White in fourth. Well, actually, he's in third. He's just made an overtake and the 12 up into third position uh, as he goes through at the S's. In fifth is Luke McGall. Then it's followed by Nikita Roberts. Then it's Elijah West in seventh. Zach Ormshaw eighth. Daniel Barton ninth. And then Finley Ormshaw in tenth. So that is the running order there. And uh, let's see how this one goes. 
think the town always started itself cancelling itself. That's brilliant. Right, down the main street we come. And once again, uh, we're around for just our second lap of this race. Uh, already got some warnings coming through. So Kobe Wood given a contact warning, uh, a warning, and uh, a contact warning to the WC player Ethan Cousins. So I live fix the uh, YouTube live stream and again let's go through this one once more another lap through currently our fastest driver out on circuit was Ethan Coupland who's uh, dropped down s quite a few positions here So Ethan Cousins leading the way by 1.3 seconds, looking at that gap there as we uh, go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe once again. As we can see, there is a battle for second position with the 15 of Luke McGall right on the rear of Charlie White with a uh, very good start to his race day today. Starting at the uh, right at the top here. Massive pack at the back of the grid here as well as uh, some are struggling to keep on track. Possibly with a loss of grip. Who knows? But uh, hopefully that was all the rain that we had, which was earlier. Hopefully that's all we're going to get today. So around Billy's we go once more. Through the S's, down the back straight. It's the 15, then the 99, then the 12. So uh, Charlie White losing out on a couple of positions here. Elijah West with a very great start here as well. One of the novices on the grid in the top three. Uh, currently having a battle with the 12 who uh, seems to find some grip in other locations where the 99 doesn't. <clears throat> so as we come down the main straight once again. The change for Elijah West up into third position there. On the, the timing. As we have a spin down at Billy's by one of our mid-pack drivers there. And uh, taking a while to get back up and running again as well. So back to the back, unfortunately, for that driver. We'll get you updated on who that was very shortly. Uh, but nevertheless, it's the WC plate of Ethan Cosins showing it off in absolute true fashion today. Uh, out in front. Meanwhile, Nikita Roberts is uh, right on the back now of, I think, that was the 12 of Charlie White. And is going to go down the inside and passes just before the top bend. As we come on down, we'll get the update of that one. And is indeed, it is Nikita Roberts ahead of Charlie White. Ethan Coupland up into sixth position there. It's the 22 of Oliver Ratten, who for, unfortunately is down the grid order from that spin earlier on. Uh, in this race, but nevertheless, it's a very, very chilled out start to the day with uh, both the Honda and Rotals cadets out together. And uh, quite a few novices out in this grid as well. I want to say over half of the grid today are novices, which is absolutely fantastic to see. And uh, I believe this is one of the bigger grids this year as well, especially with the merge of uh, the Hondas and the Rotaxes. I think the last time it was this big was uh, during day one or two of the Wessex Challenge last month. So I do like to see a bigger grid for the Hondas and Rotax cadets. Uh, my favourite races of last year was from these. And especially with the battles that uh, Ethan Cousins and Luke McGall had. Uh, and also the shinings from uh, Nikita Roberts throughout the races as well. As we have a spin at the Horseshoe here by the 80, I think that is, of uh, Kobe Wood. Nevertheless, we have two minutes remaining, well, just over two minutes remaining on the clock. And over comes our WC plate being quickly caught up by Luke McGall and Elijah West, who are both about to have a battle going into Billy's, but uh, it is staying as put for now. Through the S's, where a uh, dry line is starting to shine through in a few spots. So we go down the back straight 
into the hairpin for the two drivers down there. Meanwhile, a little bit further back at the grid, just going into the hairpin. There's another 2x2 two two behind uh, Nikita Roberts. Uh, that is the drivers of the 43 and the 12. Ethan Coupland and uh, Charlie White. Those two starting to drift away a little bit. Uh, but meanwhile, second and third are going to be side by side very shortly as we go past the kink into Billy's and down the inside goes to 99 but does go out wide which uh, just puts it back to how it was just before the S's and as such the 15 ahead of the 99 but already on the charge once again he's going to try it again this time at the hairpin and backs off just to keep behind for now is he going to try at the horseshoe he's trying at the horseshoe as well so around the horseshoe, and uh, as we come out of the horseshoe, is now ahead, so it's a change between those two. So to the top bend, and uh, down the main straight we go. Meanwhile, I just see out the corner of my eye, Nikita Roberts uh, trying to defend off her fourth position as we come down the main straight. Who is challenging her? And it is the 43 of Ethan Coupland. We saw, saw his pace at the start of this race. Uh, but let's see if that continues on in these later stages with 13 seconds left on the clock. So there's not too much time left. And the 80 spinning once again at the same spot as last time. Kobe Wood trying to get into touch with these conditions. The track not fully dry yet. Still a lot of damp patches out there. So from the top end down the main straight. As we go for what is the last lap of this race. And that is shown on the top left of the YouTube live stream. Meanwhile, as uh, our second and thirds get past our back driver of the 80. Unfortunately, it does split the two for the minute. So you go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. WC plate, then it goes to the 99 of Elijah West and Luke McGall in third. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the end of this race as we come down the main straight and uh, taking the first checkered flag of today. It's going to be our WC, yes, our Wessex Challenge champion, Ethan Cousins, who takes it first. And then uh, 0.75 seconds later, Elijah West in second, Luke McGall third, and uh, Nikita Roberts fourth, Ethan Coupland fifth, Charlie White sixth, Archie Rogers Tyler will finish seventh, Hendricks Burnett in eighth, Finley Thurstfield in ninth, and then round out the top ten is Dewey Hockridge, and then uh, the highest novice in this race is uh, Elijah West uh, in the 99. Let's see, Rotax Cadet, and the highest Honda Cadet novice is Archie Rogers Tyler. Fastest lap uh, goes to our second position driver of Elijah West. Also, a new feature in these live streams as well, as you can see from Alpha Time, and there is now a provisional result warning uh, after the checker flag, so it's not final until it's been published. Uh, so there we go. Everything's provisional on this YouTube live stream, not confirmed. Right, let's go to the grid then for the Intermax. So we only have four drivers out here today, so not too many, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we have lost a couple more to usual. So four drivers out on grid, Ava Morris and Rook Thompson uh, in the front row. And then the second row is Devin Taylor and Alex Jones. So yeah, not too many, unfortunately, today, which is a real shame. We did get some uh, hints of uh, some really good racing from the Intermax. Um, so hopefully we'll get a few more later on uh, this year. I really do hope so. It's uh, one of the grids I... Uh, do miss, I do miss the Minimaxes from uh, of last year. Uh, we did have a uh, decent little grid with those, but uh, yeah, Intermax. Let's see what we get from them on round five. The Not the halfway point, but the halfway point of this race. Yes, I misspelt. I was fast typing. Okay. <laughs> I've also sorted out why the uh, transition sounds go over the tunnel. They don't anymore because I was listening to them, so they shouldn't be actually too loud anymore. But yeah, lots of racing still to go here, and as such, uh, we go for the Intermax, hopefully, in a few moments' time. I drank Coca-Cola this morning, and I can feel it. it's coming back. 
Yeah, with gurgles. Right then, let's go for Intermax then. I'm a little bit further down. So then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for the Intermax, our smallest grid of round five. Only four drivers out on circuit. As they go for their formation lap here. So let's see how this one goes, I believe. We might have two rolling up laps, so I'll have to double check with the timekeeper. Our survey says, yeah. So then let's go to start off this Intermax heat, the first one of today. Let's see what we get from these four drivers. There's only four of them, but two of them, I know for sure, are very competitive between one another as they come down. And it has been false started. So a pack round we go again. So let's try again for this race then. So from the top bend we come for the Intermax heat number one. Is it going to be go time this time round? And this time round it is indeed. So down into Billy's we go with just four drivers in total. So around Billy's we go over Morris down the inside just before the S's. And down the back straight it's the 32 followed not followed by the other driver. It's already tussle and turns for the top two drivers here. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe once again. That other driver, I believe, is the 14 of Devon Taylor. We'll double check as they come round from the top bend. And down the main straight we come for this one. It's going to be the battle between the 32 and the 11 of Rook Thompson as it changes once again going down into Billy's. A top three of split away from Alex Jones, our novice out there today. So is it going to be a top battle with the top three throughout this race? We shall find out over the course of the next seven or so minutes. So round into the horseshoe. Ava Morris has settled behind the uh, behind the eleven for the minute. So top bend and down the main straight we go for this next lap of this race. As uh, the gaps are slight between each of them. It's uh, roughly the same between Rick Thompson, Ava Morris and Ava Morris and Devin Taylor. So they are going to be playing the long game. I start seeing a lot of dry patches coming from the S's. So it's going to be good news for everybody else who is uh, yet to race in this round. So around the horseshoe. Towards the top bend we go for the next one. 
and it's all go once more in this race. So we'll tune back once we see more action from these guys and girls out on circuit. So we've had quite a few laps of this race going through and uh, so far it's uh, Ava Morris charging down towards Rook Thompson. Uh, she is slightly faster than the number 11. But let's see how this pans out. So we've had quite a few minutes pass by on this race so far. It's catch up time for Ava Morris been uh, keeping an eye on her during this race for the last couple of minutes or so. And uh, she is slowly trying to close that gap. She is the fastest driver out there, the 32, the 40.61 compared to uh, Rick Thompson's slower 40.65. She is faster on the last lap as well. So. Uh, only time will tell in the next couple of minutes what we will get between these two drivers. Devin Taylor on a cruise of his own, and so is Alex Jones at the back in fourth position. But uh, so far, nothing to be shown. As uh, Devin Taylor also punching out some lap times here with a 40.44, goes fastest on circuit for this race. So down into the hairpin we go. Around the horseshoe and through to the right-hander. And then we go for the top bend. To so go once more for 10 laps completed of this race then. Uh, with the 1 minute 25 left on the clock as well. Uh, skip straight down to a minute and something. <laughs> So 
So Rick Thompson is fastest out on circuit, 40.25. So starting to try and make sure Ava Morris stays down in that P2. As uh, we see this gap potentially increase again, and uh, it does indeed. Uh, we're nearing a second gap between the two, 0.92. As uh, Ava Morris goes faster for herself. And uh, my watch pinging me saying light rain soon. So hopefully that avoids us up here. It's typical. It's absolutely lovely during the week. And then as soon as it hits Sunday, well, it's race day. And uh, decides to give us some change of weather. So top end, down the main straight we come. And I think we're going to squeeze out another lap in this race as well. As long as my live timing screen is correct with times left. And it's last lap. So it definitely was incorrect. Uh, so this is the last lap, the last opportunity. Will Ava Morris be able to close that one second gap? And uh, at these early parts, it's probably going to be a no. But we shall see as we go through the hairpin. Horseshoe. Rick Thompson just keeping steady out in front. As we go towards the top bend and get ready for the checker flag of this race. So winning heat number one for the Intermax. Here's the first out of only four drivers. It's Rook Thompson followed by Ava Morris and Devin Taylor. And then slowly but surely we'll come on flying through. Alex Jones for fourth position. Fastest out on circuit is our winner of this race. Rook Thompson with the 40.21 which he set just at the end there. And in... Uh, Top novice and only novice Alex Jones. Can't leave that one out. Right then, so it's time for the grid for uh, the Junior Road Tax, which is now available on the screen throughout the building as well. So another little new feature that I've added to the uh, screens is what I also see on the YouTube live stream. So Arthur Thacker and Charlie Parker on the front row with Frank Ward and Emily Cotty on the second row. Daniel Tribe and Noah Pikes on the fourth, uh, third row even. I'll get it right at some point. And then on the fourth row is our Wessex Challenge champion for the junior rotor. It's Joshua Withcombe alongside Charlie Cox. Now, this one I will stand up for because <laughs> uh, we have 27 drivers, I think that is. Uh, so, really moly. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big grid, man. That's a huge grid. I do love a big grid, though, especially with these guys and girls. Oh, I can't forget the girlies. Right, so what are we going to get from the Z Juniors? Uh, just to let you all know that there is a, uh extra rolling up lap. Good luck, Arthur. Number 14 says Frank Dart. Thank you for sharing your support for your uh, driver there. If uh, anybody else has uh, any other shout outs you want to do for any drivers, well, when I say shout out support, then uh, let us know in the chat. I just also saw the Wessex Challenge. Uh, wow, I left that up here. Uh, it's the program for last, <laughs> last time out. I always keep the ones. I, I don't know why. I always keep all of the programs. As uh, all the cadets come running down the side. Reminds me of the meme from uh, Australia. They came bounding over. <laughs> also in my brain now is two hours later. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, I am uh, prepared for non-stop action from this lot as I lean against the window because I love having one microphone for the job. It's brilliant. I would have a headset one, but unfortunately the ones that you get for the headsets, um, I'd only be listening to myself and, especially in the heat, are horrid. All right, then enough nattering on the YouTube live stream. Let's get into the biggest grid of round five and always the biggest grid it is the junior rotax for their first heat of today let's see what we get from all 27 drivers a very big grid there's the 14 spins just coming out of the s's <laughs> caught you uh, arthur thacker that is with some support on the youtube live stream from frank dart uh, if you do have any support for any drivers throughout today then head over to the youtube live stream or pop it into the youtube chat and it'll be popped over the tannoy and the youtube live stream as well as the 14 tries to get back into place. So it is two rolling up laps as a reminder. So that's how it will go throughout today. The the one driver darting off and retiring at the start of this race by the looks of it as well. Another driver who was Scraping like mad coming over the start finish. As uh, a couple of drivers try and get into position. So here we go, then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for this one. Uh, two drivers already retiring out of this race. I think the one of the drivers had a uh, front wheel problem by the sound of it we're just scraping and not being able to turn another one just retiring out there but let's get to the start of this race then as we come from the top bend we already losing my breath as we go through before even the start and it is also a first time round for this start then so it's the heat one let's get this one underway so everybody's staying on the stuff it is relatively clean he says as a few of them are going anti-lock to not spin out through the S's. Down into the hairpin we got one broken free from this race already and that is the 14 of Arthur Thacker making an early and very far stretch lead at the start of this race. Let's give you the top 10 then of this race as they come over the line so it's going to be Arthur Thacker followed by Daniel Tribe, then Emily Cotty, then Frank Ward, Charlie Parker, Noah Pites, Charlie Cox, Vlad Tominchuk, then Logan Bennett, then Joshua Withcom, the WC play, all in under one breath, and I am losing my breath. As uh, one driver very slow, another driver just managing to stay out of the rear end of that driver as well. Down at the S's, but nevertheless, we still fly on through. As another driver looks like he's... Uh, Preparing to get back onto the circuit again. But a crazy start, but a very good lead at so far. Under a second is the gap between Arthur Thack and Daniel Tribe. He's just set the fastest lap in this race as well as we go into Billy's. A couple of drivers going a little bit wider. A little bit of touchy turns from the rears of a few. But through the S's we're clean and down the back straight we go once again to say non stop before this one a lot of the midfield going for it and a massive spin and unfortunately a couple of drivers not being able to get out of the way there as it all piles up once again in the junior road tags it is non-stop with these drivers here so a lot of changes probably going to come out onto the timing screens so Charlie Parker and Noah Pikes up a position Jack West and Harrison Withcomb going up the order a little bit as uh, a few other drivers down to the back of this grid. Zach Fletcher just chilling out the back there. Harrison Whitcomb. Uh, sorry, Harrison Whitcomb uh, <laughs> given a uh, contact warning there. I'll get the names right at some point. Uh, the warnings on the top right of this YouTube live stream as well. Fast lap goes to Daniel Tribe, who is on the rear of the 14 as we go through the S's and down the back straight. 34.52 is the fastest lap that we have from him. As we are still continuing on in this race, and uh, Daniel Tribe just really closing that gap massively here. As uh, also in the background is Emily Cotty in the 42. So 
So as we come from the top bend down the main straight, Daniel Triber right on the rear, not going for a move just yet as we go into we go into Billy's there. Uh, through and down the uh, back straight we go. Full of top two, Daniel Triber looking for the inside, backs out just before we go through the hairpin. And uh, into the horseshoe, still no changes from the two. Gotta keep an eye on him. He is slippy. So darting down the inside, one follows and two follows. I think that was our Wessex Challenge champion for the Junior Road Tax. He's being challenged at the moment, going into the top bend. And down the main straight we come. I think he doesn't get a position up. Instead, he loses a position. Or is he? We won't know. So Jarek Metters goes up into 12th. WC player Joshua Withcombe uh, in sixth. Let's go around the horseshoe. Uh, the uh, 88 of Frank Ward being challenged not by one, not two, but three drivers right behind. Meanwhile, Daniel Tribe's right on the back. Harrison Whitcomb given a mechanical flag, unfortunately, as Daniel Tribe now takes the lead, going into Billy's through the S's. And down the back straight we go for those two. Is it going to be a challenge back as we go into the hairpin or are we going to wait in the next three minutes, 40 seconds of this race? So around the horseshoe to the right-hander we go. The uh, 20 uh, has three drivers behind uh, that driver. That's Noah Pikes who is in fourth position or was in fourth position. So there's a change on the uh, timing for the front two. Uh, and then a potential move down the inside. He manages to fit into the gap and has managed to make a place up. That was close as uh, the 92 gets ahead of the WC of Joshua Withcombe. So into the horseshoe as the uh, 92 makes also another move on another driver as well. So he's not hanging around in these uh, later stages of this race. So down we come in this race for nine laps completed and it's still non-stop with the Junior Rotax here. So through the S's for that pack of three, they'll all look like they're in the same morning as well. All with the same sticker kits. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe, another driver being challenged at the back of the pack. Oh, sorry, in the mid-pack. Uh, going around the horseshoe, that's the 53 there of uh, Jarek Messers trying to uh, challenge and uh, try and get into the top 10 actually. So a strong start there. Mechanical flag given to Zach Fletcher who is in uh, 24th position. Uh, all of the warnings and messages on the right side, the top right hand side of the YouTube live stream. As uh, we've got a driver retiring down at Billy's by the looks of it. Uh, he's currently stopped back over there. Meanwhile, back to the action then. And it's side by side of the exit of the hairpin into the horseshoe. It sw switches back. It's a 15 and 31, I think that is. Uh, there's Logan Bennett and Archie Dyson uh, down in 16th and 17th. Jarek Metters gets up into the top 10 as uh, one driver retires down at Billy's. Through the S's down the back straight. It's changed between the, the where the 14 is, I think. Uh, Zach Fletcher given another mechanical flag. So Jack West goes up into P4. There's lots of changes up on the grid if you do miss them. You can replay these all on the alpha timing as well. Right, so it's still Daniel Tribe, though, that leads the way in this race as uh, we uh, still continue on here. Arthur Thacker just, just over two tenths behind. As uh, a static yellow is out at Biddy's Blind. Uh, just locks that one out for the minute 
uh, in this race. Right, there's only 10 seconds left on the clock, so hardly any time left. That means it is a now or never for Arthur Thacker here to potentially reclaim that P1 position. Is he going to be able to close that gap as we come through the top bend and down the main straight? As this is it. This is the last lap of this race here. So into Billy's we go. Through the S's, down the back straight. Still no changes by the two drivers. Billy's being uh, completely locked out here, which is uh, going to stop a few people in their tracks. But as we come on through, around into the horseshoe, still no change between the two. And that is of our first and second of Daniel Tribe. And Arthur Thacker to the top bend then, and we'll be coming down for the checker flag. And uh, it is going to be the uh, 61 of Daniel Tribe who takes the checker flag, followed by Arthur Thacker in second. Jack West will take third. Emily Cotty fourth. Our uh, Wessex Challenge champion, Joshua Withcombe, will take fifth. Noah Pike sixth. Uh, Charlie Parker seventh. Archie Buttle eighth. Uh, Jarek Metters goes up into ninth in the end of that race and Frank Ward in 10th. Uh, top novice in this race was Harvey Lee Winteridge down in 20th as we lost a couple of drivers in this race. As uh, We lost Zach Fletcher, Harrison Whitcomb and two other drivers uh, before this race began. Whoa! <laughs> It's definitely another month here. Non-stop action once again for the Junior Road Tax. So we're just waiting for a... No, we're not waiting for recovery. We are waiting for recovery even. Uh, one's recovered himself and we still got one other to go before we get to the next race. Oh yeah, you just yawn. I slept well last night as well. All right, whilst that's happening, let's have a look at the grid for the senior Rotax. So, uh, a return for a couple of drivers here, and uh, how as we can see here, Evie Pullane and Jamie Bradfield on the front row with Finn Smith and Cameron Crockett on the second row. Oh, well, this could be a challenging one between the two. Leo Purchase and Bertie Wellesley on row three. I waved at him earlier. Oh, my God. Uh, fourth row is Tom Rotherham and Daniel Beards. Uh, Dan Milner and Jamie Burt on the fifth row. That rounds out your top ten. And as you can see at the bottom there, there's only 14 drivers by the looks of it because there's no flicking around. Our two novices of Patrick williams Rahag and Henry Stratton. Patrick on his last novice race of the day. Of the day of the one, of the month. <laughs> He's uh, competed in all five rounds. And top novice for four out of... Uh, sorry, three out of four of them, I think it is. So... Not bad going there. So he was also uh, competing in the Wessex Challenge last time out. Henry Stratton also running out of the same awning as well. And uh, yeah, let's see how this one goes. But we're still waiting for a recovery, Alex. So if you are enjoying what you're seeing today and uh, want to get uh, back for more action later in the year, when I say later in the year, next month, uh, then hit that subscribe button and get yourselves ready for round six. So it'll be next month. Uh, more details to follow on the Clayfish and Cart Club Facebook. Ooh. I don't know why, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> Probably to do with... Uh, a mix of hay fever and hot weather. So then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for the next race on here. It's the Senior Max, Senior Rotax Heat number one. As we go on through, and not a good start for one driver, as the rear wheel is not on the car anymore. It's not the best start. Don't worry, I've had that happen to me as well before. <laughs> So then, to the top bend, let's see how it goes. So down to 13 drivers in this race before it begins. 
as uh, we will be going for a false start. Um, back round again we go. And uh, unfortunately it is Finn Smith who will not be starting this race, unfortunately. So let's go back round for a, another go of this one. Frank Dart saying, now good luck to Bertie and Jamie, the number 48 and 66. Uh, both uh, racing in this race here, so let's see where they come throughout the rest of this race. So as they slowly make their way from the top, they're still there. But let's see what we get from these 13 drivers. So down the main straight we come and we are good to go in this race. Let's see what we get from these 13 drivers as we go into, uh, into Billy's here. Massive lock up at the back of the grid by one of our novices. That was the uh, 95 Patrick Williams Rahag locking up just about missing uh, the driver ahead. But meanwhile, at the front, it's battles galore for the front positions. So let's get it going as we go from the top end. Let's give you your running order for the start of this race. So it's Evie Pelaine, followed by Cameron Crockett, then Jamie Bradfield, Leo Purchase, Tom Rotherham, Dan Milner, Bertie Wellesley, Jack Maidman, Jamie Burt, then Daniel Beards. That is your top ten As there's still battles full of top positions and one of those drivers in that battle is the 88 of Cameron Crockett. Trying to challenge the 56 there as we go from the top bend down the main straight. Strong start as we go into Billy's down the inside goes the 88. Another driver follows through. It's very slow as uh, a couple of drivers also being caught out on this one. The 56 down into fifth, I think that is, after that corner. As it was very slow from a few drivers just trying to miss out on one another. As we carry on through, around the horse, here we go. The 66 trying to challenge the 71, I think. Leo Purchase made himself up another position. But from the top bend, down the main straight we come. And it is the 88 now leading the way, followed by the 71, then the 66. Tom Rotherham in fourth and then Evie Pelaine down to uh, P5 like I said just earlier on as we go through the S's down the back straight so second, third and fourth starting to form a little pack as uh, Cameron Crockett's leading by 0 0.7 that is the gap uh, at the moment, contact warning given to Jamie Bradfield There was also one earlier for Jack Maiman as well. Uh, Tom Rotherham goes fastest out on the circuit. 33.65 is uh, what we have here. Through the S's down the back straight. A hop, skip and a jump on the other side of the sausage curb. Goes one of the drivers. It's not a comfortable drive that side. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, round the horseshoe. We go then for the rest of the pack. Through the right-hander to the top end we go down the main straight as the gap closes ever so slightly between the 88 and the 71 just over half a second is that gap as we go around through the S's down the back straight around the hairpin towards the horseshoe down the inside goes to 17 on the 56 and the 48 looked like he was trying to have a go as well stays behind just for the minute is he going to try again well someone's trying again as we go up into the top bend I think that's the 48 being overtaken there and it uh, was indeed the uh, 62 at Dan Milner going up one position down the inside just before the S's goes the 42 on the 66 so change Tom Rother up into the top three but that's already going to be challenged once again going into the hairpin again once into the horseshoe as well uh, it's uh, Stames one behind the other for now so 
upside down we come. Still no change from the top two, but Cameron Crockett has competition behind. It's only 0.2, the gap two tenths. So what are we gonna see from these two? Strong start here from Cameron Crockett at the start of the race. But the 71 showing some pace in these closing stages of this race. Just, just slightly over halfway through. <laughs> As Jack Maitman goes fastest on circuit with a 33 of 5 seconds. I think there was a change for fourth. The 17 ahead of the 66. Indeed it was. Uh, so Jack Maitman up into fourth. Really showing off this pace in the, the closing stages. Last few minutes. Three minutes left on the clock. This is the 66 is on the outside at the hairpin. A horseshoe even. As uh, we have a retiree unfortunately. Going into the pits there. And uh, that was Jamie Bradfield, unfortunately, heading into the pits. Everybody up the order uh, on this race. So Patrick williams Rahag goes into the top 10 then with that retirement. As the 59 of Henry Stratton behind. Meanwhile, the 56 trying the outside of the horseshoe. Not working though, just slots behind the driver that they were going to overtake. Down the main straight we come, it's the 56. We're trying on the 51 there. Going to try it though instead at Billy's and does so indeed, gets ahead, but on the S's to get that gap open. And as such, the 51 invited uh, himself back into the position he was in prior. So. We try again as the 62 looks for a move. Going into the horseshoe, but it's still no change from them. And uh, talking of no changes, still nothing between first and second as Cameron Crockett still leading the way by three tenths so far. The 42 and 17 starting to form a pack as well. The two, two by two for the front four. As uh, I think that's a 48 going down the inside just before the hairpin and slots ahead. And uh, very defensive into the horseshoe. As such, the 62 loses the position on Bertie Wellesley, who goes up into seventh. And that is the change as we have just over a minute left in this race. As we go down the inside with the 17 of Jack Maidman, who goes ahead of Tom Rotherham. There's a change between the two. And uh, Jack Maiman just showing off a lot of pace that he has in his uh, closing stage of the race here. It, will he have enough time to catch up with our front two runners? Uh, that is a question for later on in the race. So uh, forming a few packs here. Our novices both together out there on circuit. Going into the right-hander. And the change for the front two. Uh, uh, sorry, third and fourth now on circuit. Jack Maiman is still the fastest on circuit at 33.57. Uh, nobody else has got anywhere near that in these uh, in the last couple of laps. As uh, Bertie Wells is trying once again for another shot. Trying to get ahead of the 56. Staying behind just for the minute though. As we go from the top bend down the main straight we go. Are we going to sneak out another lap? Oh, very tight indeed. We snuck out another lap with three seconds that was left on the clock. Nothing at all. But they still managed to squeeze out another another lap. Cheeky. Right around the hairpin then for our leaders who are uh, so catching up with the uh, back marker of the 44, Rosie Armstrong. There's uh, big enough of a gap there that's not going to require any blue flags. But to the top bend we go and uh, coming down the main straight then. And we go for what is the last lap of this race here. So around Billy's we go through the S's and down the back straights here. Into the hairpin. Horseshoe is next. Cameron Crockett with a three-tenth gap. 
as more action still happening in the midfield but nevertheless coming down the main street then and uh, we'll be taking the checkered flag for the win of the first heat for the senior road tax it's going to be Cameron Crockett here as it's uh, side by side <laughs> Bertie Wellesley frustrated that he couldn't get past then at the end but nevertheless it's Cameron Crockett followed by Leo Purchase and a fastest man out on circuit on that one 33-57 by Jack Mayman in fourth is Tom Rotherham followed by Jamie Burt then it's Evie Pillane in sixth Bertie Wellesley seventh Dan Milner eighth Daniel Beards ninth and Patrick Williams Rahag in tenth who is also the top novice in this race As uh, Razor Armstrong there goes over the, the line, lost two drivers in that race of Jamie, uh, J Jamie? Uh, Jamie Bradfield, oh, sorry, and uh, Finn Smith as well, who uh, lost it at the start of the race. There we go, then, ladies and gentlemen, that's the senior road taxes, and next up it is the 177s. Uh, only five drivers, so. Uh, once again, a small grid to be set. That grid being as follows. Uh, there is six of them, sorry. Uh, uh, ben Johnson and Cameron Marston on the front row. Ian Brandfield and Derek Hunt on the second row. And James Frost and Jason Bear on the third row. And I believe Harrison Crook is out on an injury, unfortunately, today. He did it literally a couple of days ago, apparently. <laughs> so uh, talking to uh, Lewis Halliday down at uh, TH Course. I also apologise if there is any buffering on the YouTube live stream. Uh, internet. <laughs> the internet's not been happy up at Clay Pigeon the last week, so uh, I do apologise. So then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for the 177 and 177 Masters for their formation lap here. Uh, six drivers all together. So what are we going to get from uh, these six here? So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. We are off and underway for the start of the 177 and 177 Masters race here. Driving on the Maxxis Sport tyres, the 177s, as we go through the S's down the back straight. Into the hairpin we go. Around the horseshoe, and I think that's the 61 of Ben Johnson that's leading the way. And uh, towards the top bend we go. So coming down the main straight then, let's give you your running order for the first lap of this race. So it's Ben Johnson followed by Ian Branfield. Then it's Jason Bear in third. Derek Hunt fourth. Cameron Marston fifth. And then James Frost rounds out your six drivers in total. And that is six runners still going. The fastest out there on the opening lap of 39.29 was uh, Ian Branfield. He was uh, looking down the inside, outside even, of the uh, 46. It looks like the 61 is slow. Coming out the horseshoe there, very slow. But managing to keep going. As I can hear, raindrops. Oh no. It is starting to rain again. I can hear it because <laughs> it's a very uh, loud roof. So through the S's, down the back straight. Is it going to be enough to affect the race? We shall see. So top bend down the main straight. And I think it's helpful that their practice session was mildly wet because... Uh, it's already getting wet and we've got one in the tyres. All in the tyres. Four in the tyres. Eek. That weather's definitely gone and changed it off. 
Oh, it's wiped out 75% of the grid. So indeed, the weather definitely affected that one. As the red flag has fallen. Uh, so just let you all know the drivers are okay uh, as they go on through. Uh, but the weather just absolutely affected that race as we got one off uh, at the top there. Well, with that little bit of rain, it turns out the track gets quite slippy after a few seconds of rain. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, just another reminder, all drivers are okay in that uh, little pileup we had there. I'm not on the tannoy, so it's all right. Uh, so, yeah, just a reminder for those all at home. So, first red flag of round five. and Such wood, the only... So, uh, yeah, it is raining and it is pouring. As uh, I need to get a digiboard cam. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? So, once again, red flag conditions here at Clay Pigeon Raceway as they just uh, finish off uh, sorting out the tyres down at the kink there due to the uh, f sudden change in weather there. So, it will be one for recovery. I'll show you the uh, quick sort out they got going on there. is the 64 of Cameron Marston who will be retiring from this race. I think the other, I think there's a four other drivers that will be continuing on potentially.
So we still have rain here uh, for this race, which is probably going to slow things right down here. Uh, obviously, none of them are able to change their tyres as they're on circuit, so uh, we're not going to probably we're probably not going to see too much happen at the next stage of this race. Uh, on the clock, five at twenty-three. That is the time that we have uh, left on the clock. So uh, this could be a very slow five or so minutes. Um, but all of them just caught out by the weather there. And uh, <laughs> two drivers that got away with it. Uh, starting at the front, I believe, potentially. Um, but we'll see what happens uh, once I get any uh, anything else. We're just chatting with the timekeeper at this point. <laughs> uh, no news just of yet. As it is just gone past 12 o'clock, just past midday. So all drivers are into the pits. Just going to confirm with the timekeeper to see what they are going to be doing with this race. Uh, so they've all peered into the pits. So there possibly might be a delay before we finish the rest of this race. Um, I could be talking out my mouth. Or I am talking out my mouth, but you know what I mean. So uh, technically off red flag conditions here now. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what continues on here. Um, I wonder if they're being... Oh, I've got a clip. I'm going to watch a clip. Uh, so just to confirm, uh, it will be a full restart, which is going to be scheduled after the race. So we should hopefully see all six of them a little bit later on. That's nice. Right, there's the uh, grid then for the Honda Cadets and Rotax Cadets. Uh, I'm going to say most of them might be on the, their wet tyre of choice. Uh, so Dewey Hockridge and Nikita Roberts on the front row, uh, Zach Ormshaw and Oliver Rassin on the second row, and Luke McGaw and Ethan Cooperland on the third row. I'm going to watch this clip. I cut away at the right time. So, yeah, one into the tyres, two, I cut away just in time. <laughs> nice. Well, for me it's nice. You can just watch one slide on it, and then it's uh, cuts away just before. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the clip. But you rewind yourselves. <laughs> uh, so I believe it's uh, stopped raining. So we should be hopefully getting a drier track in the next few minutes or so. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> 
So hopefully you're all enjoying uh, everything so far. So we've done 90% of the uh, races that we have for Heat 1s. Uh, just to confirm with everybody who's just possibly tuned in, uh, the 177 and 177 Masters Heat 1 red flagged after three uh, just before the halfway mark, actually. Uh, so it will be uh, Cadets, then the 177s to finish off and have a full restart of their heat, uh, which is lovely stuff. Uh, great to see that. Um, it looks like the 177s cursed with rain so far. They had a wet practice, a wet first heat. Uh, when it's rescheduled, will it get wet again? Who knows? It's Clay Pigeon Raceway. We'll never know. Trying to see if it's still raining, and it is indeed just a couple of flurries of uh, rain here. As I will quickly refresh the weather. So, reset it. You'll see a section of the website, and it's even hotter. So then, ladies and gentlemen, time for the Rotax and Honda Cadet race. Just to let everybody know, the 177s will be out to uh, have a full restart of their race next time out. So they'll be the next race uh, instead. Uh, so we're going to continue for this one here. So a wet one for the Cadets here for their second heat. So let's see what we get out of uh, all of these drivers here on circuit. A total of 15 drivers uh, altogether. Uh, there is going to be two rolling up laps due to the conditions out on circuit to uh, make sure that all drivers get their tyres nice and warm and ready to go. So over they come for their first one. So the grid was on the YouTube at the live stream just earlier. If you want to catch it, they are also available on the screen throughout the building as well if you are watching here at Clay Pigeon. So, uh, yeah, something extra to uh, have a look at. So around the hairpin we go then as we slow down all of uh, the drivers there. I want to say too slow. <laughs> As um, slowing them down, and then there's nearly being stopped out on circuit. Nikita Roberts and I uh, can't remember who else that is. I think it's Dewey Hockridge at the front row. Really controlling the grid here for this race. Let's see what it's going to be because uh, we're speeding them up ever so slightly. So then, ladies and gentlemen, after a very slow horseshoe, let's see what we get from this one then. So down the main straight we come, and uh, we are golden. We're going for this race, or they're making it round the first bend. We have a couple of spinners off into Billy's at the back of the pack, but the front still going on. So it's the 77, followed by the 63, then the 15. That is your top three going into the hairpin next. As our leader unfortunately spins at the hairpin. And is sent to the back of the pack unfortunately there. Around the horseshoe we go. It's the 15, then the 63 now. Uh, so let's give you your running order after a couple of spins and a lap. So from the top end down the main straight we come. Let's give your order as follows. So it's Luke McGall followed by Nikita Roberts, Sen, Zach Ormshaw. Then it's double novice time of Archie Rogers, Tyler, and Finley Thursfield. Then it's our Wessex Challenge WC of Ethan Cousins, Daniel Barton, seventh, Ethan Copeland, eighth, Oliver Ratton, ninth, and then Elijah West round out your top ten. That possibly could have changed as I've said that though. 
So let's keep an eye on it as we go on through as the 15 and 63 controlling this race at the front here. Taking it steady, quick and easy, easily around this first few, uh, around these few corners here. If I get my words out correctly. So down the main straight. Gap over half a second between first and second as we've got another spinner two three it's spinning galore as we go into Billy's there through the S's and down the back straight we go that gap in increasing even further I think that might have been third position that spun another spin down at the hairpin so it's a 15 followed by the 63 and it then will be the WC so it was the 72 that spun uh, at Billy's there. So a lot of the drivers that were near the front are now at the back, unfortunately. But it's still sailing through for Luke McGall and Nikita Roberts here. And the gap for just over a second now. But there is a four, uh, three second gap even uh, between uh, se uh, second and third here. Everybody making it round. Billy's a okay so far. So through the S's down the back straight we go. That's down the inside very steadily goes the uh, 21 and the 77. 77 trying to go back out again uh, but it's Luke McGall still leading the way by 1.69 that is the gap there and uh, Ethan Cousins 4.9 seconds behind our leader so through the S's down the back straight we go Possible change coming out of the horseshoe. Uh, hairpin here towards the horseshoe. Going to get them right at some point today. The WC play and the 99. The two swapping positions as we go to the right-hander. We're trying again going into the top bend. And it's a possible swap from the top bend. Down the main straight we come. As the 99 now ahead up into third with the WC play right behind of Ethan Cousins. Challenging going into the hairpin here. Tries a little bit of a wider line going into the hairpin as well. And the exit towards the horseshoe. Not a slight gap between the two. Meanwhile, not many other changes to be said or is there going into the horseshoe. Uh, once again, is a 43 and a 12. We've got a double spin, triple spin again at the hairpin. A couple of our backfield drivers here. Uh, but meanwhile, Luke McGall and Nikita Roberts. Keeping their cool at the front. Elijah West goes fast as the 45 4 6. So from the top end, down the main straight we go for seven laps and completed of this race. Uh, it's just under for us, yeah, two and a half minutes. The time, the alpha time in time is just skipping every time I look at it. Uh, so the gap is 2.34 between Luke McCaw and Nicky to Roberts, but Elijah West is closing the gap between himself and Nicky to Roberts in second. Uh, 44.72 set by Elijah West. He is uh, currently the fastest out there, and no other drivers reached the 44s just yet. Uh, the only other driver close was Ethan Cousins, who did a 45 dead last time out. So within the next two minutes, are we going to see that gap between third and second close? We shall find out 
as we come down the main straight once more. As uh, Ethan Cousins now jumps into the 44s, 44-34. Really charging down towards the 99 here. So down the back straight we go towards the hairpin. Around the hairpin we go towards the horseshoe. As you can see, the gap closing very quickly between those two and Nikita Roberts. Still a fair bit of time left on the clock. As uh, the 15 of Luke Magul now leads by 2.5 seconds. And Elijah West within a second now of Nikita Roberts. Ina Langley saying good luck to Oliver Ratton and Elijah West on the YouTube live stream. Sending the support to there. Uh, if you want to do so as well, head over to the YouTube live stream. We'll go at the back here by a couple of our drivers here going in to the S's here. Too wide in some spots. The 77, 88, uh, I think there's 74 as well in that one. Uh, proper at the back, having a battle there. Meanwhile, the gap now just three tenths between Nikita Roberts and Elijah West, but down the inside, a change. Uh, I believe that is the WC play getting up into third. And now challenging uh, Nikita Roberts here. Uh, the two drivers just really quick and already at the hairpin. One has overtaken the, the 63. As we go around the horseshoe. Is she going to be able to hold on to third in this race? Going towards the top bend then. So last lap here as uh, Nikita Roberts challenge going into Billy's. The 99 on the inside. Brave move with the slight dab from track. But does get ahead into third before the S's. So down the back straight for our leader is the WC of Ethan Cosins going to be able to uh, catch up with first position. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be enough time uh, with a 44 seconds dead on the clock for, uh, for Ethan Cosins. As she's showing you, the track is slowly drying. And a couple of the drivers taking advantage of that as well. So from the top end and down the main straight we go for the Checker flag. Lou McGall wins at heat number two with Ethan Cos in second, Elijah West third, Nikita Roberts will take fourth, Ethan Coupland take fifth. He just comes over the line there. Uh, the number 12 of Charlie White is sixth, and then it's going to be Oliver Ratton and Finley Thirstfield here. Uh, the 58 of Daniel Barton will take ninth, as uh, we still get a few more of the cadets coming on through. Hendrix Burnett into the top 10 and stays in the top 10. Uh, finishes 10th position there. Uh, top numbers will be Elijah West in P3. Fast lap time goes to Ethan Cousins, who broke into the uh, 43s with a 43-7-3. And he is the only driver to hit that one as well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, the uh, uh, Cadets Heat 2 a completed. Uh, that is a provisional result. Obviously, me chucking that one out onto the YouTube live stream. Just a reminder, any results that I do see and that you do see here are only provisional. It's Elijah's first race meeting and got second in his first race. Well done. That's not bad going. Right then, so we are going back to the 177s. Let's see. Actually, let's have a look. If the grid for them are there, no, it's not. So we won't go back to uh, the grid just yet. So we are going back to the 177 and 177 Masters for their first heats. Um, if you've only just tuned in, you're wondering why is it gone back to that? Uh, we had a red flag. 
just before the halfway mark of their race. Uh, and as such, uh, we're coming back to them. I believe it was also a full restart as well. Yeah, it's a full restart. Uh, so uh, we'll be hopefully seeing all six drivers back out again as uh, the weather is slightly slick out there. I uh, wonder if they're going to be on the wets or dries. Let's have a look. So as they're coming out to the pits, and uh, by the looks of it, they're all on their slicks as well. And all six back out on circuit. At least five of them out on circuit, I was going to say. So still slick. The slippery surface flags out as well. As uh, this is a full restart, so uh, this will be the formation lap, and I believe there'll be two running up laps with this one as well, uh, so they can get some heat into their tyres. They're still running uh, their slicks out there by the looks of it, so uh, we shall see how this occurs through the rest of this race here. Uh, we have eight minutes on the clock for these. So it's uh, Cameron Marston who is not out on circuit, I'm afraid, for this one. As uh, we have one driver spinning off there at the S's. Some tough conditions for these to travel through. The cadets, unfortunately, not uh, driving the track up as quickly as they probably would have liked. Uh, but nevertheless, let's get ready for the restart of uh, heat number one here. Uh, I know the overlay says red flag on the screen. Uh, I can tell you this is just a uh, thing with Alpha and it is a full restart here uh, that we are going with. So then, ladies and gentlemen, the full restart for the 177 and 177 Masters to redo their heats. So, uh, down the main straight we come. And it is underway first time around. All of these, I believe, still running in their slick tyres. And running slicks in this condition is brave. Very brave. <laughs> I wouldn't be out there, that's for sure. I'd be off the track before anything. <laughs> I'm a terrible driver, that's why. <laughs> Roasting myself. Right, so around the horseshoe we go. 61 leading the way. The grip level's slowly coming back for these guys. So down the main straight we come. And your order will be as follows. So it's Ben Johnson, Ian Branfield, then Jason Bear, Derek Hunt, and James Frost. That is how it goes for this one. Through the uh, slidey S's, down the back straight we go. And still running through on this race here. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Top bend as the front two close together once more. That's a, tried for the inside there, but stays behind for the minute. Going around Billy's then. Through the S's and down the back straight we go for the 177 and 177 Masters.
I've just had to disappear there to uh, have a comfort break, uh, which, <laughs> which I was going to do during the interact. Uh, but also to see why the internet keeps dr dropping ever so slightly. So once again, apologies uh, if there is any uh, issues with the YouTube live stream buffering. Uh, but nevertheless, we are on the last lap of this race for the 177 and 177 mile. So only four drivers remain. Ben Johnson went into the pits on lap five. And then uh, coming down the main straight then to take the checkered flag. It's uh, going to be the 46 of Ian Branfield. After the restart. Derek Hunt second, Jason Bear third, and James Frost fourth. Just a reminder that all of these results are provisional on the YouTube live streams. Right then, let's go for the grid then for the Intermax, which are out next then. Uh, that is the order up on your screen now. I think we've still got a couple of internet issues, so once again, apologies for any buffering. Internet absolutely being hammered over the last week. And we are going back to going back to one wrong up lap of this one as well. To give you their heads up on that. So then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Intermax heat number two. As uh, we have the restart of the 177s uh, on the previous time out. So, four drivers in total once again for this formation lap. The drivers or the marshals didn't get the memo on that one. Nevertheless, uh, let's go for the restart then uh, for a another go round. So yeah, they are going to get their two laps. <laughs> I'll fiddle with the thingy so I can have my mic stand. It's a very small one. So the other one's still wedged in the thing. I don't know how Alpha Live did it. They used me mic. Boom arm, and it's now wedged. <laughs> I can't unwedge me boom arm. Not for life. <laughs> Ca casual rage. <laughs> right then. So from the top bend we go once again for the Intermax for their second heat here. So down the main straight we come. And we are underway for the second heat here for the four drivers in total. So around biddies we go, into the S's, and down the back straight is the uh, 14 of Devon Taylor making a strong start there through there. And as such is in that top position spot. So the 32 of Ava Morris in the third by the looks of it. Very familiar outfit there. I feel like I got the wrong number for the start of this one, but we shall find out as we go to the top bend and then down the main straight we come. So uh, your order will be as follows. The 11 of Rick Thompson, then Devin Taylor, the 14, followed by Ava Morris in the 32, and then uh, Alex Jones in fourth. But it's a potential look between Ava Morris and uh, Devin Taylor, I think that is. 
uh, back at the S's there, but still nothing between those two as we go into the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. The 30 of Alex Jones managing to stay onto the back of the 32 in these starting stages of this race. So down the main straight we come and uh, Alex Jones on the outside of the 32. Side by side into Billy's and the 30 is ahead. And uh, unfortunately doesn't shut the gap as uh, we're through the S's and the 32 back out ahead once more. Uh, Ava Morris staying ahead of the novice driver of the 30. Meanwhile back at the front still no changes by those two. The 14 still leads the way to the 11. So the Intermax come in two by twos as uh, the front two are together and the back two together. Alex Jones staying on the rear of the 32 of Ava Morris, our current championship leader. As we go towards the top bend and down the main straight. Still no changes between our top two. As uh, we fly through another lap of this race, really close to the behind, down the inside, he goes. That is uh, the, uh, I believe that's the 11 of Rook Thompson. This number looks a bit different uh, from my eyeballs. As, uh, that is the 11, <laughs> it just looks like a different number where he's got a tyre rub mark on his number. But nevertheless, we are still flying on through this race here so let's go through once more as another swap at Billy's once more between the front two runners through the S's down the back straight we go uh, Ava Morris and Alex Jones trying to close the gap between uh, the front two and themselves so around the hairpin we go towards the horseshoe. Alex Jones really turning up the heat from his uh, previous one. Uh, so he's uh, still hanging on to the back end of Ava Morris. So top bend down the main straight we go. And a slight gap forming between first and second. Still in two by twos. Uh, three tenths is the gap between those two. And uh, there's... Uh, the gap between uh, Ava Morris and Alex Jones on the line, 0 0.07. Hardly anything between those two as uh, we go around again at the hairpin. Towards the horseshoe as Alex Jones tries to have another look. Stays behind once more into the right-hander there. That's going to lose Ava Morris a little bit of time defending that line. But down the inside at the top bend it goes Alex Jones ahead of Ava Morris. Showing off some performance here that the 30 has uh, in this race so far. Another swap potentially between our front two drivers as well of uh, Rick Thompson and Devin Taylor as it changes once again at the S's as a 14 goes a little bit too deep into uh, the first section of the S's as uh, we go through another go. As uh, DJ Khaled would say, another one. That's another lap we're going for next. So top bend and down the main straight. As uh, Ava Morris is actually losing time to uh, Alex Jones here. <coughs> I apologise. <laughs> I don't know if I coughed in anybody's eardrums if you're wearing headphones. Ah, that caught me off guard. Holy moly. So around the horseshoe, and it's still the 11 leading the way to the 14. Devin Taylor just chilling behind for a second as a uh, sour squash is going to enter my mouth. Don't know why I said that. That was commentary, but there we go. So 
Tell you what, this sour, the sour squashies are not actually that sour. Food review during a cart race, anyway. <laughs> So just under two minutes left on the clock then. Our lead is still the same for the minute. As uh, Alex Jones showing off some great pace here. Uh, just getting into the 37s, last lap round. As uh, he is now 1.7 seconds behind uh, second position here. Uh, Ava Morris still unable to break the 37s in this race so far. As it's side by side with the 14-11 on the exit of the S's there. That was close. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe we go. It's the uh, 11 still leading the way. We're at Thompson there. Trying to defend and hold that position. As we go to the top bend once again. Alex Jones showing that that gap is closing. So 54 seconds remain. As it changed again, Rook Thompson given a contact warning. I'm going to presume that was from the S's instant earlier as it's gone slow at the exit of the hairpin. And uh, the 30 just invited himself up into second. That was almost at a standstill. So through the right-hander towards the top bend we go. Rook Thompson, uh, sorry, Alex Jones sees himself in a top two battle here. Battling for second and potentially first as well. So around Billy's we go, through the S's as uh, the 14 tried to look down the inside at a very late inside look, but uh, didn't go for it, Such su as as such stays in third. We have two contact warnings here for Rook Thompson as well, uh, but nevertheless going around the right, ha uh, right hand up. Towards the top bend we go as we have only 14 seconds left of this race. If that's true or not, we'll find out very shortly as over the line we go and it is the last lap. So the time on my screen was a little bit incorrect, uh, but nevertheless, around at Billy's we go. The last lap of this race and we see Alex Jones in second position here. So down the back straight we go. Around at the hairpin, Alex Jones right on the back of first position place of the 11 of Rook Thompson. The uh, 30 absolutely flipping his performance from heat one to heat two. And nevertheless, coming from the top bend and down the main straights, it stays behind one another for the ending there real close. But it'll be Rook Thompson who will take the win for the Intermax heat number two. Alex Jones will take second. Uh, Devin Taylor will take third. And then Ava Morris uh, did go into the pits uh, a lap ago, finishes out in fourth. Uh, Alex Jones showing off his performance here, but what happened to Ava Morris that race? So then, that was actually a shocker. Ava Morris's pace just was not there that race. Nevertheless, we go to... Ah. We, go, we go to the junior Rotax for the heat number two. I was gripping the... Um, uh, scripting my mic stand. <laughs> oh, it digged into my skin. Ooh. Right, let's see how this one goes. It's going to be competitive, so I'm going to get out of my bottom, eat a couple of squishies. Sorry, squashies. And then we'll get ready for the next race here. The junior race axis could be Ow. pretty intense. I don't think I'm ready for it. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's just being attacked left, right, and centre up here. It's only myself. <laughs> so, what are your predictions for the Junior Rotax race then? Get yourselves in the chat. Who are you going to reckon? Oh. Do I keep eating squashies? Bad mistake. I shouldn't have bought these. Well, that's a lot of cars survivors us in load. Uh, let's go then for the Junior Rotax for their second heat. Then we had a lot of competition at the first one. 
And it could be the same once again for the second heat. Eight minutes plus a lap. Let's get the formation lap underway. As I keep eating squashies. <laughs> I'm just going to keep snacking on these all day. It's going to be a good thing. <laughs> I bought two packets as well. So get your eyes and ears peeled ready for the start of this race then. Is it going to be go first time round? And it isn't. Not just yet, as we have a spin in the middle of the pack there. All the drivers just managing to stay out of the way of that one. 31 there, spinning. Right, let's go back round again then. Has the two lovely marshals down at post three and four. Slow them right down. Well, 31 is off the road to get back into position again. <laughs> so uh, let's go to start this race off as one of them was off-roading to get back into their position again. Let's get ready to go once again. Is it going to be going this time round? And unfortunately not. Come on! Still nothing then from this. The words that slow it down is what we need for these guys and girls. All very eager to get going again. So attempt number three then for the start of this race. The Junior Rotax is really eager to get going and it's showing here at this current moment. So for the third time from the top end we come. And this time it's been let go, so let's go for this race then. Heat number two for the juniors here. As we go around, Billy is a lot on the outside, a lot on the inside before the S's, as all drivers keep it steadily through. And we're through. Meanwhile, the front of the pack at the hairpin towards the horseshoe. We've had a spin uh, just before the hairpin a bit earlier on. Apologies if you did hear any swearing in the background. Uh, the window is open and someone's shouting rather loud. So your order will be as followed then. So it's Jarek Metters followed by Billy Edgecombe, then Will Swales, then Jasmine Taylor, then Harrison Whittacombe. Vlad Tom and Chuck is in sixth, Archie Lyons seventh, Daniel Tribe eighth, Jack West ninth, and Archie Dyson in tenth. That could have all changed though as we go through for the rest of this race here. Uh, see, it's 61 of Daniel Tribe pretty much moving the 34 out of the way there. As uh, we've got a couple of contact warnings to be said. So Joshua Withkin and uh, Daniel Tribe both given contact warnings in this race. Messages on the top right of the YouTube live stream. So let's see how we go further on in this race. So through the S's down the back straight we go. Meanwhile, back at the front of the grid is a battle between the 53 and 23 in this one. Jarek Metters and Billy Edgecombe. Down the main straight we come once again. Third is at major threat here from the drivers behind as it's very close between the front two and uh, the 33 of Will Swales down a couple of positions there. As he goes wide, uh, goes in way too wide uh, into Billy's. 
So we're still flying through this race. A lot more going in the midfield pack here. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth with slight gaps between them all. And uh, meanwhile, for other drivers, uh, going through the grid as best as they can to try and catch up with these leaders. Five minutes, 40 on the clock. But the Edgecombe takes the lead. Harrison, uh, Harrison Whittacombe takes the fast lap for a microsecond as uh, now it's our West's Challenge Champion, uh, uh, Joshua With Withcombe, who uh, takes uh, the fastest lap, 34.55. So all drivers just really punching in some lap times here in this race. So around the horse, here we go. And it's behind the 92, I think, of Jack West. Where there's some potential action going to come. As we go from the top bend down the main straight, we come then. Jack West up into sixth position there. And uh, the WC of uh, Joshua Withcombe just out of the top 10 at the moment. Down the inside goes the 24 uh, on the 36, that might be. As more changes go at the entrance of the hairpin. As uh, we got one off roading just at the exit of the S's. It's all going on everywhere. So down the main street we come though for our leader. And that is the 23 of Billy Edgecombe. So, so far, chill in the hood for our front four. As uh, a couple more drivers try and catch up with the rest here. Uh, contact warning given to Archie Dyson. Uh, one of many uh, contact warnings given at this start of the race. 66 at threat here by the 84. Uh, Jasmine Taylor right on the back of uh, Harrison Whittacombe here. Uh, through the S's, down the back straight we go for him and her. Uh, Will Smales in fifth position, the 33. A little bit of a gap between him and Jack West. There's, uh, we've got yellows and one stopping down at Billy's there. Uh, and it uh, looks like we're losing one driver. We've lost dri one driver in this lap uh, race so far. Ellis Snow retiring four laps ago. So trying to get going again, but nothing so far from that driver and he has retired fully now and meanwhile the 23 still leads the way in this race as uh, Billy Vaught given a contact warning as well and uh, I think that is the one that's retired from this race as well double check uh, and that is indeed Billy Vaught out of this race unfortunately for him so still flying through this race 2 minutes 51 left on the clock and nothing yet from our front four So the 14 there making progress up the order once again on Noah Pikes, I think that was. Currently at the uh, four, number 14 of Arthur Thacker, uh, just out of the top 10. Meanwhile, we got one heavy into the tyres in, down at Billy's. Uh, that's going to lock out Billy's for the moment as we go on through the rest of this race. So around Billy's blind we go third and second starting to close the gap between one another. As uh, we are still going on three. Jack West first out there, 34-3-7. There's a lot more action going down at the hairpin as well. Tight between all of them, the 26. I want to say 26. It's hard to check up on all of these numbers as everything goes on through. Static yellows down at Billy's. Uh, so that's going to lock Billy's right out of contention as the 36 has heavy threat from behind with the 12 literally on the rear as we go into Billy's, around Billy's and through the S's as uh, the 33 there. I think that is just take... Uh, sorry, third. Oh, I'm losing all the numbers. <laughs> Having to take a lot of curb there did the... Uh, 36. Meanwhile, we got one with a loose back rear bumper out there as well. Just noticed that out of the corner of my eyes. I spotted that though. 
Meanwhile, still nothing from our top nine at the moment as we've still got 51 seconds left in this race. Are we going to see any changes as it's literally a bumper car park uh, with the uh, 36 uh, Vlad Tobinchuk nearly coming to a stop uh, at Billy's. Uh, meanwhile, we're still going on through. Tom and Chuck really trying to defend that 11th position there. Uh, Frank Ward given a mechanical flag. Uh, that is the 88 there, unfortunately. So once again, another defensive in to Billy's by uh, Vlad Tom and Chuck going through the S's down the back straight. We go the 20 still stuck behind. That's Noah Pikes. Meanwhile, our leader is still the 23 of Billy Edgecombe with the last lap next up here. So one last lap of this race to go, which is uh, going to be great news for the uh, 36. If he's still in that position, that is. We've lost eyes on him for just a second. But this is the last lap of the race here. And the 36 still defending it off for now. So around through Billy's, a change behind him happens as uh, the driver of the 12 gets ahead of the 42. But meanwhile, coming down the main straight and taking the checkered flag out of nowhere, it is the 23 of Billy Edgecombe, followed by Jarrett Metters, then Harrison Whittacombe, and uh, Jasmine Taylor, fourth, Jack West, fifth, Will Swales, sixth, Daniel Tribe, seventh, Archie Buttle, eighth, and Joshua Whittacombe, ninth, and Arthur Thacker, tenth, as uh, more drivers come on through the grid order, Vlad Tomanchuk does hold off on to his P11 at the end of that race. Uh, and uh, quite a few retirements in this race so, f uh, uh, so far, in this race even, as uh, we lose a few more. So our retirees uh, was uh, Frank Ward, Alex Bingham, Billy Vaught and Ellis Snow uh, in that race. Uh, fastest drive out on circuit was Jack West. Did it on lap 10 out of 15 laps for 34.37. Top novice was Harvey Lee Walteridge in, uh, sorry, Walteridge or Winteridge uh, in uh, 21th position. 21st, 21th, there it is. 21th! <laughs> Jesus. My brain's fried. If I'm saying 21st. <laughs> There's another squash who's made it into my lips. Let's go for the senior Rotax race then. So, after somebody finishing in 21st position, <laughs> oh, I managed to make that up. Jesus. Uh, let's get to it then for the senior row tax heat number two. Tom Rotherham and Bertie Wellesley on the front row. Daniel Beards and Cameron Crockett on the second row with Dan Miller and Jack Meeman on row three. And our novices at the back there. Oh, 21st position. <laughs> 21st. I'm never going to let that go, am I? It's 22nd and 21st. Not 23rd. Yeah. 
say then, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for the start of this formation lap for the senior road tax, uh, second heat of the day. Uh, so let's see how this one pans out. 14 drivers out on circuit. So from the top bend then, let's get ready to kick start off heat number two for the senior Rotax here. And we are underway, all 14 straight into Billy's as one of them locks up. Unfortunately, wipes out another driver in the process here. Uh, meanwhile, back into the S's, uh, Henry Stratton making a move there uh, on the, I think that was a 44 potentially. As we keep flying on through this race here, around the horseshoe we go, and that is the 48 of Bertie Wellesley, I think that's out in front. We'll double check as we go from the top bend down the main straight we come. So it's Bertie Wellesley, followed by Cameron Crockett, then Daniel Beards, Dan Milner, uh, Jamie Burt, then Evie Pallane, then Leo Purchase, Jamie Bradford, Finn Smith, then Tom Rotherham. Uh, Cameron Crockett given a, a contact warning. Uh, but meanwhile, down through the hairpin we go towards the horseshoe. Uh, Bertie Wellesley trying to defend off the 88, last race's winner. Uh, Finn Smith on circuit this time, uh, not, not having to retire at the, the first start of this, the race. Uh, as we go from the top end and down the main straight, we come. Bertie Wellesley just hanging out there in first for the minute. Uh, they uh, two tenth gap down Milner Fastest, 34 6 2 on the. Uh, only second lap of this race through the S's down the back straight for the number 19 there, Finn Smith, uh, trying to recover from his first race. Once again, Bertie Wellesley taking a defensive line into the horseshoe as Cameron Crockett is right on his tail. So uh, from uh, the top bend down the main straight we go. Wellesley just managing to stretch his legs a little bit down the straights compared to Cameron Crockett. Meanwhile, Finn Smith trying to squeeze down the inside of uh, two drivers only gets past one of them. And it's a 51 he gets ahead of as uh, he plows on through the rest of this race here. So those defensive lines slowing down a little bit to allow the rest of the grid to catch on up. So from the top bend, we come down the main straight. And it's still the same for the top three. Mechanical flag given to the 66 of Jamie Bradfield. Uh, currently was in 10th position. Uh, unfortunately, will be having to retire from this race here. So, top bend down the main straight we come once more. Cameron Crockett still behind Bertie Wellesley as uh, Bertie's able to keep his lead going down the straights. So, through the S's, down the back straight. Around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Cameron Crockett looking for a tighter line in some places. Whilst uh, Bertie Wellesley tries to keep his defensive lines on top form here. So from the top bend down the main straight once again. Pat McCrockett just not able to stay close behind down the straights in this race so far. As uh, we're still flying through here. Mechanical flag uh, given to Jamie Bradfield. Uh, once again.
So the gap is two tenths between uh, Cameron Crockett and Bertie Wellesley. Dan Milner uh, just there. So top bend down the main straight. Finn Smith trying uh, is now catching up to the top four. He's now on. The, uh, sorry, the top three is now starting to come to the back of them now. So around bellies we go through the S's, and next up down the back straight we come. So uh, with three minutes nearing left on the clock, Jamie Bradfield and Jack Maiman, the only two retirees from this race, down to 12 drivers in total running this race as our novices out the back here of uh, Henry Stratton and Patrick williams Rahag, head of Razy Armstrong at the back. So through the S's goes our leader, which is still the 48 of Bertie Wellesley, just managing to... Maintain a lead on the straights here. Gets slightly caught up uh, in the corners. But his uh, chill through as we fly on through. Finn Smith starting to really close that gap on Dan Milner, who's in third position. So from the top bend down the main straight we come here. And it's another lap round with no changes. But Finn Smith down the inside at Billy's and gets ahead of Dan Milner. As we go down the S's, it secures that P3. And next up is Cameron Crockett down the road for Finn Smith here. So around the horseshoe we go through to the right-hander and then down uh, towards the top bend we are. So let's see how this pans out. Less than two minutes on the clock. So not too many changes from the grid just as we speak. As uh, Henry Stratton is now into the top 10 here uh, with the couple of retirees we've had in this race. So from the top bend, once again, we go for 12 laps completed. Cameron Crockett unable to close that gap enough for an overtake on Bertie Wellesley. Uh, we've been watching him a lap on lap here. Bertie Wellesley just chilled out in that front position spot. Fastest driver currently in third position at the moment is Finn Smith with a 33.83. Uh, currently lapping in the 33 still as we go on through the 42 and 56. Tom Rotherham ahead of the 56. As we come down the main straight once more, still no changes from our front three. As uh, Darren Milner losing a bit of pace from the front three as well. So still lots of time left on the clock. Even though there's only 20 seconds left, there's still plenty of time for these guys and girls out on circuit. So around the horse should be going once again. And it's through the right-hander towards the top bend again. The 48 chilled out in front. And we are on the last lap of this race as well. So Bertie Wells has only got one last lap to defend off Cameron Crockett. And Finn Smith slowly closing the gap as well. But it's, will it be enough before the end of this race here? As uh, the 59 goes slow coming out on the last lap here. And looks like he's going to have to retire from this race here on the closing lap as well, which is such a pain for him. But nevertheless, to the top bend and taking the checkered flag, ladies and gentlemen, it's Bertie Wellesley, followed by Cameron Crockett and Finn Smith. Uh, Dan Milner will take fourth. Uh, Leo Purchase fifth, Jamie Burt sixth, Tom Rotherham seventh, Evie Pallane eighth, Daniel Beards ninth. And then at the end here, uh, Patrick williams Rahag will take tenth. And uh, slowly but surely from a little bit later on, it will be the 44 of Rosie Armstrong. We lost three drivers in this race. 
Uh, Henry Stratton literally on the last lap. As uh, Patrick williams Rahar gives him a little push to the end here. Uh, Jamie Bradfield and Jack Maven are our retirees. That's some sportsmanship there. Tony is uh, giving his, <laughs> his teammate a bit of a push there to uh, get into the pits. Nice. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Paddy's pushing <laughs> surface. <laughs> Lovely teamwork, though. Right, grid then for the 177 and 177 Masters for their second heat here. Is that going for another load of squishies? Squashies? I can still say it wrong, don't I? So hopefully we'll see all six uh, out on circuit. We had five of them on the last one. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the 177 and 177 Masters for their second heat of the day. First one delayed due to a red flag early on. Uh, but nevertheless, all six back out again. So from the top bend then, coming down the main straight, let's get ready to kick start off the second heat for the 177 and 177 Masters. This time a little bit more drier than their last two outings. So through the S's down the back straight, the 22 leads, that is Derek Hunt out in front. That rhymed. Round the hairpin towards the horseshoe. From the right hander and then to the top bend. Your running order is as followed for the start of this race. So it's Derek Hunt followed by Ian Branfield, James Frost, Jason Bear, Ben Johnson, then Cameron Marston. That is your six drivers out on circuit in order as there's been no change going through Billy's. Towards the hairpin then is where the 22 still leads the way. The gap very small between him and Ian Branfield. Over the line we come, Ian Branfield right on the, the rear of Derek Hunt going into Billy's. Through the S's and down the back of the street we come. The uh, 81 of James Frost in the third there with Jason Bear uh, slightly behind. So top bend then. Once again down the main straight. And still no changes from these top six here. Cameron Marston a little bit further behind from the rest of the pack here. As down the inside goes 
Uh, I think that's the 61 of, uh, yes it is, the 61 of Ben Johnson on the 50 of uh, Jason Bear. And it's side by side of the exit of the hairpin towards the horseshoe next as the 46 challenges the 22. It's a little bit of a first position duel. So from the top bend and down the main straight we come. Still no changes into Billy's. It was a little look for a move at Billy's but stays behind for now. Through the S's and down the back straight once again. Still, once again, no changes from the top two. Let's see, uh, I think the 61 might be ahead of the 81 here. Two numbers very close together. We'll find out. I think it's not just yet. We'll find out as they come over the line very shortly. So down the main straight we come. 22 followed by the 46, 81 then 61. So yes, I was wrong. The 61 still waiting for a move on. Uh, the 81 here. So into the hairpin once again. So from the top bend down the main straights. And still no changes, but the 46 right on the rear. And into Billy's stays behind. He really looked like he was going to go for something then. Just didn't want to just yet. 61. A little bit of a gap to the 81 now. Uh, fast out there is the 61 of uh, Ben Johnson in fourth position with a 35.88. Eight. Uh, currently just slightly faster than our front runners here in this race. As uh, the pack go into the top bend, it's two by two by two. But Derek Hunt still in front for this one. I like saying that because it rhymes. <laughs> still no changes though. So we go for the right-hander then with three minutes 40 left on the clock. And uh, Ian Branfield's really trying to make a move here. We're watching this as we go on through. And uh, 46 just staying behind. The 22 this time has gone defensive and the gap is still close. So Ian Branfield cannot squeeze down the inside. And as such has stayed in the P2 with uh, Derek Hunt still staying out in front. I just love it because it rhymes. Uh, round the hairpin towards the horseshoe then. The 61 also closed the gap to the 81 as well. So we'll watch this as it continues. So... As we go around Billy's, a couple of drivers gone way too deep into Billy's as well. So the 81 swapped. And uh, also Cameron Marston's got ahead of Jason Bear as well. Two drivers who have uh, went completely offline here. Opening an opportunity.
So, apologies for that one. My uh, boom arm's playing me up. <laughs> uh, so, Ian Brownfield won that one. Uh, just 0.62 ahead of Rick Hunt. So, unfortunately, I did miss a uh, fantastic end in there, but <laughs> the uh, boom arm's are just a non stop problem with that. So, apologies for any missed out action. As it rains again. What is, what is with this weather, man? Right, Honda and Rotax Cadets, then. Uh, your grid on screen. Oh my god, the weather. Yeah, so I am still currently boom armless. <laughs> yeah, currently my uh, boom arm actual stand is wedged. So I want to say massive thank you to the guys at Alpha Life who have uh, broken my boom arm. It is fully stuck. So I don't have a boom arm. Uh, it's my own boom arm. So I'm very upset. <laughs> Let's give you some live pictures of uh, wet weather. So then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the third heat here. And it is raining once again. This weather does not know what it wants to do today. So I think we have a couple on slicks out there. We've got quite a few of them out on slicks, I believe. Uh, so this could be some challenging racing, uh, challenging racing from some of these drivers here today in this third heat. But let's see what how it goes. Two rolling up laps due to the conditions. So as we go for the warm-up lap then, a lot of these drivers running on full slicks as you can see. Uh, some of them full lock and still going forward. So yeah, let's see how this one runs through. The rain is probably coming down now. So let's see how this runs through. The driver's still trying to get back to the rest of the grid here as we slow the grid down. Williams are on the left-hand side for a second on the YouTube live stream. Let's see what we get then from these uh, 15 drivers, I believe it is, all together. Let's see which cadets have been testing slicks in the wet weather. Because we're going to see that today, ladies and gentlemen. So we will be going back round again. Just to allow the next driver to come along and uh, get back with the pack. And uh, as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, the race will be halted and not started for the start of this one. So, ladies and gents, by the gather of it, 
to the change of weather and most of these being out of slicks, are we going to be seeing some tyre changes? And uh, it is going red for safety, I've just been told by the timekeeper. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised, to be honest. Most of the grid on the out on slicks there, and uh, these will be in young drivers here. So, uh, yeah, that is a very understandable and very, very sensible move here by the uh, team at the Clay Pigeon Cart Club. Obviously, safety is always priority uh, here in racing. As as we all know, motorsport is dangerous. So any updates, I'll let you know as soon as they come on through. So there we go, yeah. <laughs> I believe they're just, uh, they might be, um, I wonder if they'll be sorting out tyres, it'd be interesting. As I crack open a Coca-Cola, I don't know if you can hear it. Doing it with one hand. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this stoppage is brought to you by Coca-Cola. <laughs> Can't imagine. Do you remember when it was always Pepsi Max? And, ah, I've gone to Coca-Cola now, me. I'll be buzzing off the walls a bit later on. Especially with these squashies. Ow. Very British weather in it. 19 degrees and raining. We can't have a nice. Oh, Jesus. Ah, nearly fell off my chair. <laughs> so we just go for this screen for the minute. Someone's having fun with a wacky stick. Saying that mid squashy. Just let you know, it's still slightly raining here for this uh, for this moment, and uh, I believe all of the cadets will be slapping on some uh, wets. But this day, this is why I want a pit lane cam. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, it'd be um, really a day testing mechanics with their setups and uh, drivers to the uh, ever-changing conditions. 
uh, Clay Pigeon Raceway always giving you that option. <laughs> if you're up here at Clay, you're definitely going to get some sort of challenge with uh, with your uh, tire swappings and all that sort of stuff. Come on, it's um what? It's only June. They got wet weather, don't we? <laughs> Britain. So hopefully we'll be able to get going uh, soon uh, once again. Probably wind noise going through the uh, microphone now all the time. Uh, so yeah, we do have a microphone outside for the... St oh, that's be them two talking out there, I just realised. <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to uh, try and get my boom arm functional. Uh, so hopefully we'll be back very shortly.
Right then, we got some uh, got some action. <laughs> I was caught off guard myself. Right then, so we're back up and running again. So we're gonna get two rolling up laps uh, once more. As the uh, rain carries on, uh, all the cadets given the option to swap over to their wets. So let's go around for two uh, rolling up laps here. So that's number one. Let's go for the next one here then. So it's got drizzled. Like rain. So then as we uh, come around for the rolling up lap then different conditions to their last outings but let's see what we get from the drivers out on circuit now 15 drivers all together so from the top end then down the main straight let's get this race underway so in Billy's we go through the S's and which one is out in front it's the number 12 of uh, Charlie White who leads the way in this race at the beginning Hairpin, a bit of a blur from my point of view, but I can just make out the 12 still leads away to I think that's the WC of uh, Ethan Cousins. So, running order on the left hand side of the YouTube live stream, and uh, down the main straight we come for the opening finishing lap here. So, Charlie White followed by Ethan Cousins and Ethan Coopland, Luke McGall. Uh, Dewey Hockridge is next, and it's Zach Warmshaw, Elijah West, Oliver Ratton, Nikki Robertson, Archie Rogers, Tyler. That is your top ten, possibly changed since. And so we've got one slow going down the back street at, uh, just before the hairpin here. Imagine to uh, pick back up again. Fastest is Charlie White with a 46.61. Great to have the action back out on circuit once again. Uh, down the main street we come though for the next lap here. WC just hanging on to the rear as he goes down the inside before the S's. And uh, down the back straight we go. With the conditions, all these cadets are treading carefully as we go on through. As we have a spinner, I think it was third position driver. Having a look there, unfortunately, as uh, we carry on though with our top two now, with a bit of a gap between the each other. As a 
moving on to the next lap here. The WC leads, as it was for 43, who spun from third position there, unfortunately. Recovery drive time now for the 43. So our midfield very tight together, but yet still without touching as we go around the hairpin here. Next up is the horseshoe where Nikita Roberts is looking down the inside of the horseshoe and does get it. Does the 72 have more traction on the outside of the circuit? Does indeed and uh, maintains his position there as uh, Daniel, Bar uh, yeah, Daniel Barton given a uh, contact warning. So through the S's, down the back straight we go for the WC. And uh, closely followed by Charlie White as well. Charlie White just staying there within three tenths. And as we go around the horseshoe next. Right-hander and then towards the top bend. As we go for another lap, Charlie White right on the rear of the WC. Just a tenth is that gap. It looks smaller, but that is a tenth there as we go through the S's down the back straight for those two drivers. Uh, the 99 of Elijah West managing to maintain third position with the 77 of Dewey Hockridge a little bit further behind. Uh, that gap is just under a second. As uh, just make out yellow flags down at the hairpin. Meanwhile, we are challenging through this race even further on, and uh, with three minutes thirty left on the clock. So heading over to the top bend then as we uh, finish our next lap here. Uh, only lost one driver in this race which is Luke McGall. Uh, only a lap ago. Uh, but as we are here now, uh, it's the WC and the 12 that still lead the way. That gap uh, from here to the 99 uh, is five seconds. Five seconds. An absolute margin for Elijah West as he... Uh, Comfortably has P3 at the moment as down the inside. Oh, that was close as the 72 goes for it. But the 58 spins at the exit of the S is there. Moses grip using that curb on the inside. Unfortunately, it spins it. Luckily, the driver behind just manages to stay out of trouble as we carry on once more. And it's another recovery drive for that driver as well. Uh, was in fourth position. It's a real shame for him. But nonetheless, we continue on with our leaders who are unchanged. Charlie White with the fastest lap time of a 45.81. And uh, Finley Thursfield given a contact warning. So no changes from our mid-pack, but just as I say that, going for a brave dive in the inside at the hairpin. Goes one driver on the next, can't catch the number, unfortunately my vision's a bit impaired. As uh, I think that was the 23, or the 22, either two of those uh, making a move in these conditions here. 57 seconds remain on the clock.
So Daniel Barton uh, maintains 12th position, whilst uh, Timmy Hotbridge up into 11th. And uh, Ethan Cooperman loses a couple down into 13th for him. Uh, but meanwhile, it's still the same two at the front. And that is Ethan Cousins and Charlie White. That gap just is maintaining three tenths just under. And Elijah West just casually in third position. I say casually because it pretty much is very casual. Uh, meanwhile, Finney Thurstfield has Nikita Roberts behind him. As uh, that is within also three tenths as well for the gap boys going through the S's down the back straight. And into the hairpin, those pair go. Uh, but meanwhile, we have nothing left on the clock. And as we go from the top end down the main straight, we go for the last lap of this race. So, is Charlie White going to push up to P1? Or is he just going to play it safe and stay in P2? Uh, we shall find out as we go through the S's, down the back of the straight, that gap's closed much more going through the S's. Charlie White right on the rear to the point where Ethan Cousins is taking a defensive line in. Uh, around the hairpin we go. I can just about see the colour differences between the two, which means that Charlie White's still behind. As Charlie goes for a different uh, different line into the horseshoe. Stays behind for the minute. Right on the rear at the end of this race here. It could be a drag race to the finish line. But nevertheless, from the top bend down the main straight we go. And unfortunately, Charlie White doesn't have enough horses to get past. So it's Ethan Cousins who takes the win of this one, followed by Charlie White. Then a very casual drive from Elijah West for third position here. Who's going to have fourth? And it will be the 72, followed by the 63 of Finney Thursfield and Nikita Roberts. Archie Rogers Tyler takes sixth. Hendrix Bennett in seventh. Oliver Ratton, 8th, and it's going to be slightly control for 9th. And Tommy Morris rounds out your top 10. And uh, that is the race done there. Fastest driver is our winner of this race of a 45-6-1 by Ethan Cousins. Top novice, Elijah West. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to have a quick comfort break on my end as uh, the rain has uh, set my bladder off. Uh, so I shall leave you with pictures of the next race here from the Intermax. Let's just have a quick look at their grid. Uh, that is your starting positions for these four. And then we'll go over to the main screen and get ourselves ready for the next race. So I will see you all uh, very shortly.
guess who's back? Who's back again? That's me. Uh, so yeah, we go. Cold to break for me. Unfortunately, during the Intermax uh, Heat 3 there, uh, I couldn't hold any longer. Is the words I'm going <laughs> to use. Right, then, let's go to the Junior RTX for their third heat. Uh, solo show, so... Uh, yeah. Have a break if I can. Drivers last one. Uh, but nevertheless, oh, let's get into this one then, ladies and gentlemen. So, coming from the top end, let's get ready to endure the next minute of the top. <laughs> Going through the 11 spins out into Billy's not having fun with the uh, wet position on the circuit. Couple drivers managing to escape the pack. That's the 92 of Jack West. So, order on the left side. Apologise for those at the stream, I forgot to turn the uh, other mic down. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. So, coming down the main straight then, it is the 92 leading the way in this race. Archie Buttles hanging out in that P2 position as the rest of the field flies on into Billy's. We've got very slow going around there. We've got one taking a shortcut, rejoin onto track. Everybody notices him and uh, manages to avoid anything going down the inside attempting is the 33 there pretty brave going into the s's in uh, like this there's the 11 once again there harvey lee winteridge just missing out again going off on the same spot as he did earlier we got two down at the hairpin together but nevertheless we're still going through with jack west leading the way to the 24 of archie Buzzle. So a lot of them are out of the front of the pack here, managing to use these conditions. Lovely. A lot of them using that inside curb at uh, the kink. Very helpful curb that one is, especially in uh, these conditions.
So into Billy's we go for a lot of the midfield pack here as one goes down the inside just before the S's and finishes as a move just on the S's curb there. That's the... Uh, Ooh, I couldn't see the number there, unfortunately, but uh, running in uh, most of the field here. As uh, we are still under yellows down at the hairpin, which uh, closes that one off to all the drivers. And uh, might have to be another attempt round another time when we see that one unlock again. But nevertheless, we have still got the leader of the 92 of Jack West lead in this one. RG Battle still in second position with Maxim Smith third. Log uh, Billy Edgecombe, then Logan Bennett, then Harrison uh, Whittacombe. As we fly on through into the hairpin, there is yellow flags, but we've got a couple side by side. And uh, as we go into the horseshoe next. One of the drivers has something flapping at the back of his rear bumper. wonder if that's a bit of sticker kit. We'll find out in a second. As we come from the top bend down at the main straight we come. And around into Billy's we go. Quite slow, most of these drivers going into Billy's, treading carefully as we go into the next couple of corners here. Still yellow flags down at the hairpin as we still have loads going. We've got a couple of people overtaken under yellows as well from my point of view. But uh, we're still carrying on this race then and still flying on through. We've still got no changes from our front runners. But Jack West with the fast lap time of a 42.08 as he overtakes the uh, back marker of the 11 of Harvey Lee Winteridge. Still running through on this race as he spins. The wet weather conditions and uh, Harvey Lee just don't go together unfortunately in this race. As uh, we go around the hairpin, a lot of drivers, despite the yellows being out, overtaken under that yellow flag still. We go around the horseshoe. So we've got 2 minutes 15. We've uh, lost a total of two drivers in this one. Frank Ward and Danny May Reed. As the Suns tries to creep through. As we got another driver off at Billy's. Imagine to resume. And uh, only by the looks of it. Luckily only missing, uh, missing out in a couple of positions. That was a 33. Uh, of uh, Will Swales that is. The 33 there. As uh, our leader goes over the start finish, does a 42 dead on the clock. So some pace out from him, 3.74 gap. Madison Smith 7.6 seconds behind our leader here. As uh, Harrison Whittacombe, Logan Bennett, Joshua Whittacombe go up the order. Billy Edgecombe has uh, gone down the order quite a few times here. The uh, 23, I think, has possibly retired from this race. But all the drivers keeping it clean as we go through more of this race. Still got a minute to go and still not too much happening on track. As uh, Danny May Reed, by the looks of it, has rejoined the party. So through Billy's we go for most of the front field. Twenty one seconds left on the clock here as the uh, field is very marginally spread here. As uh, Jack West goes over the line to make another lap in this race once again. And uh, he is slowly catching up with some of our other back markers. He's gone through a few of them already. Uh, but yeah, 
still nothing really coming from this race in this stage of the uh, at this stage uh, the track is slowly going to be forming a dry line uh, which is going to be good news for the seniors there is still isn't one yet though so we go through the S's down the back straight for the 33 And we are on the last lap. We've lost our leader completely here. And uh, he's still going through. Ah, there he is. Number 92 going down the back straight now uh, on uh, the last adventure of this race. Very different compa uh, comparing to the other races as the uh, 14 has to slam on the anchors to not rear end the uh, number 95 there. Uh, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, coming towards the top bend and coming down the main straight to take the checkered flag it's Jack West who will take the win on this race very uh, 5.4 seconds later followed by Archie Buttle then it's Max and Smith who is next in line Harrison Whitcomb in fourth Logan Bennett fifth Joshua Whitcomb sixth Arthur Thacker seventh Carthy uh, Kometa uh, will take 8th, Archie Lyons 9th and Will Swales will just about get 10th at the end of that one as uh, the rest of the field still comes on through this race uh, and it's being um, finishing off for the top novice of this race in 21st and fastest lap goes to Harrison Whitcomb with a 41 of 41 and down in 4th position but uh, Jack West led the way for many many laps and took the win for heat three not too much going on in that race uh, the conditions really settling down the uh, juniors in that one as uh, we uh, have a couple to get recovered and then we should be able to get underway very soon as uh, it brightens up here So whilst they get recovered, let's have a look at the senior race tax grid uh, as it properly starts to heat up now. So uh, Jack Maven and Jamie Burt, the two J's on the front row with Leo Purchase and Dan Milner on row two. Finn Smith and Evie Pallane on row three. And uh, row four will be Jamie Bradfield and Daniel Beards. And we've got Cameron Crockett and Tom Rotherham on row five. Bertie Wellesley and Rosie Armstrong uh, on the final row for our non-novices. And then our novices at the back there on the final row with Patrick williams Rahag and Henry Stratton.
So then we're out with the Senior Rotax next then, and uh, dry lines flying out onto the circuit. Yep, we got some dry spots slowly coming through, so let's see how this goes on. It's 59 late to the party here, 14 drivers all together, and uh, two rolling up laps to get this one underway. So, as we slow him down around the horseshoe, got one driver slowly making their way up to the rest of them. That's a 59. And I don't think the 59 is going to have a race for too long as rear bumpers come off. So the race has begun and we are running underway here going into the first bend here and uh, the 59's race I uh, think is going to be ending sooner than it is unfortunately his rear bumper is no longer actually attached on one side there which is a real shame for him. Nevertheless we carry on through the rest of this race here and it's the 17 that's leading the way that is uh, Jack Maidman. So from the top bend down the main straight we come, two off at the top there and in the tyres. But you're running order of as follows, Jack Maven, Jamie Burt, Evie Pallain, then Dan Milner, Leo Purchase, Finn Smith, Tom Rotherham, Cameron Crockett, then Daniel Beards, uh, and then Jamie Bradfield, mechanical flag given to Henry Stratton for his rear bumper. Came off during the formation lap, unfortunately. And uh, one driver off at the top there, still at the top bend, but nevertheless, we carry on through to the rest of the race then. So it's 17, followed by the 51, then Dan Milner, then Finn Smith, Tom Rotherham, Evie Pillane. As one goes skating wide down at the hairpin. Uh, towards the horseshoe is next. So we've got a new leader of the 51, Jamie Burt. So that would have been the 17 of Jack Maiman, who went really deep into the hairpin. And as such, positions have changed there. So from the top bend, we come down the main straights. Over the start finish is Jamie Burt, Dan Milner, Jack Maiman. As the conditions slowly start getting better out on circuit, we can see a lovely dry line coming down the main straight, the uh, back straight even. I'll get that right at some point. Into the hairpin we go. Oh, fun fact, is the uh, last corner to ever actually dry itself. As a 51 and 62 has gone really deep as well, nearly skating off the circuit there, lost a couple of positions. as we come from the top end and down the main straight for another go. So into Billy's we are. <coughs> and around Billy's we go. Through the S's and down the back straight, your leader is still the same with the 51 there of Jamie Burt. As a couple of drivers darting down the inside for the top bend that's finally back. As we come down the main straight once more, still no changes from our top three, I believe. Oh, I actually like Finn Smith now leading the way. 
Uh, so he's come out of nowhere. As we go around, Billy through the S's and down the back straight. You can really see that dryness of that corner there. So four minutes to we uh, approach the halfway mark. Lost two drivers so far in this race. Uh, Henry Stratton to a mechanical and Patrick williams Rahag as well. So from the top bend down the main straight we come. Into Billy's. Through the S's where the 71 has skated right in front of the 51 with an absolute breeze. And the search has made up a position up into the top two there. As we go around towards the horseshoe. A lot of the drivers just staying behind one another whilst also closing the gap at the same time. From the top bend then and down the main straight we come for the next lap here. So 71 in the purchase, trying to attack Finn Smith in this stage of the race. As we go around the S's, down the back st uh, straight and towards the hairpin. 51 and the 42 have swapped positions as well. As we go around the hairpin for those drivers. 71 right behind the 19 going through the horseshoe and again through the right hander and towards the top bend. As, ooh. And the red flag is out. I'm not surprised on that one. I sort of froze there because uh, that was not nice. I even prematurely did the uh, flag on the YouTube live stream as well. Uh, unfortunately, hit the tyres. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, keep you updated as things go along.
So for those that have just tuned in, we are still under red flag conditions here uh, at Clay Pigeon Raceway. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll give you updates as soon as we know. Uh, but for now, uh, there will be a fair bit of silence here on the YouTube live stream uh, whilst everything gets sorted out on circuit. So then, uh, by the looks of it, the driver got up and is okay. He probably just had the wind taken out of him on that one. Um, so, I believe that race has been uh, concluded on that one as well. Um, so we will double check as soon as that comes through. Um, but otherwise, yeah, the driver is okay. <laughs> So hopefully we'll be able to get running again soon. Another reminder that the uh, driver that was involved in that uh, is okay.
So then by the looks of it, we're going to the 177 and 177 Masters. Here is the grid for that one, as uh, we get a chance to look at that one. So yes, that one was uh, concluded early. So uh, I believe it's still two rolling up laps for this one. So here we are for the formation lap for the 177 and 177 Masters. Uh, this is the third and final heat for these and all the heats in general after this one. So going from the top bend down the main straight, let's go uh, for this race then. So six drivers once again competing out for that first position. Who's going to be ending up in that one at the moment? It is. The 50 of uh, Jason Bear. Getting around the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. Behind him is the 81, I think that is, of uh, James Frost. And down the main straight they come there. So it's Jason Bear, James Frost, Cameron Marston, Ben Johnson, Derek Hunt, and then Ian Branfield. That is your top six for this one. So over the start finish we go. Still no changes from the six. Uh, but as I say that though, an attempt is being made down at Billy side by side just before the S's. And uh, that was the 61 of uh, Ben Johnson who uh, tried a move on the driver in front. But it's all going to be changing once again as we go into the hairpin towards the horseshoe once more. The uh, 46 of Ian Branfield's at the back there. That's the one... Uh, losing out on a couple of positions goes back to the back. As we come down the main straight, we go once more in this race here. So it's still the same top two, but different top, uh, different from third downwards. Ben Johnson, Derek Hunt, Cameron Marson, Ian Branfield. So uh, that is your running order there. So as we go into the hairpin, we're seeing moments from the 81 and 61, both closing the gap as they go into some of these corners to catch up with the leader of Jason Byrne, the number 50, as uh, they lead to the top bend here. So will we see any changes from these in the next couple of laps or so? Because these two are pushing for that top spot once again. Fastest driver out on circuit at the moment is Ian Brownfield, a 36.08. He just set that one as his previous lap. 
and uh, is going to show off some pace from us with Derek Hunt in fourth position as uh, down the inside goes third on second and there's a swap between those two as we go towards the horseshoe as we try and catch up with our leader meanwhile the 46 also going down the inside of the 22 to also gain a position up So, down the main street we come. Around Biddy's darting down the inside. I think that's the 46. Yeah, it was indeed the 46 on the 81 that was. Uh, so, uh, Ian Branfield really making up some positions here in the, this stage of the race. Down the inside, using a bit of the curb as well to help him keep tight is the 61 of Ben Johnson and Jason Bear so that lead has been lost but as we go to the top bend down the main straight again it's going to be another potential change the 46 looking at some uh, promising moves here as we go into Billy's down the inside goes the 22 on the driver in front of him the 81 the 81 losing a fair few positions in this race so far so we go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. As uh, Ben Johnson leads by a little margin, but will Ian Branfield be able to close that gap a little bit closer to the uh, towards the end? There's still three and a half minutes left, so still plenty of time from these uh, six drivers here. So into the hairpin. Horseshoe is next and the gap is closing for uh, Ben Johnson's lead here. The 46 try closing that gap ever so slightly as we go from the top end down the main straight. And that gap is really closed now as we go through Billy's, through the S's. And down the back straight. Meanwhile, a lot more action happening from our back four. As uh, we have some moves being made from our front runners. There's two of them spin and look like they're attached for the minute. So it's a 46 that does lead the way in this now. As uh, the two drivers that have uh, spun there just helping each other get untwined from each other. As they uh, both get themselves going again, unfortunately both of them out of this race here. Uh, when I say out of this race, out of the contention for top spots. As uh, the rest of the field now just close, uh, spreads out. And as such, the only battle on circuit is between the 46 and the 61. So then we have only a few, well, this lap and one more to go before we round off the final heats of today. As we go around the hairpin there, 
towards the horseshoe next. Ian Branfield leading by one, uh, just over a one second gap here. And uh, he's showing some dominance in this race. Uh, had a slower start, but nevertheless has managed to just creep to that top spot with zero effort, just racing past them all as quick as they can. So it's the last lap then of this race and we'll be concluding the uh, this heat with uh, Ian Branfield leading the way. 1.38 is the gap. And then as we go from there towards the top bend, very shortly as we come down the main straight, ladies and gentlemen, taking the check of flag for this race, it's going to be Ian Branfield followed by Ben Johnson, Jason Bear will take third, Cameron Marston fourth, James Frost when he finally comes over the line will take fifth, and uh, we lost one driver in that one, which was Derek Hunt as uh, the last few drivers come over the line. So then, ladies and gentlemen, that is the last heat, and that is it until we come back after a short break. So let's whack on the audio, and uh, we'll see you all very shortly. Uh, we'll be back in half an hour for more racing from Clay Pigeon Raceway.
Right, right, let's stop the music. Let's get underway, shall we? That was weird. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to the final five races here. Yep, we're on to the finals and we are coming to the close of round number five. So, let's see what we get. So, finals are 12 minutes plus a lap. So, plenty of action to come through over the next 12 minutes. So, uh, get yourselves ready. So, we're going towards the top end here. And down the main straight we come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to go. As we go straight into Billy's. Through the S's, and it's a strong start from the WC of Ethan Cousins, but right behind is another driver, though. Strong start from the front three here. So they've already split away from the rest of the pack. So around the hairpin, it's the WC17, I think that was, and the 99. Might be incorrect there. But down the main straight we come, and let's give you your running order here. So it was the 12, not the 17. So it's the WC, followed by the 12, then the 99. Then it is the 15, 21, then it's 63, and Nikita Robertson, Dewey Hockridge, Daniel Barton, Archie Rogers, Tyler, then Finley Thursfield. That is your top tenors. We have some spinners at the uh, three quarters of the way through Billy's. So around the horseshoe we go. From the top bend and down the main straight we come here. And there is your top three going into Billy's blind here. So around Billy's we go. Uh, why do you not go to Forest Edge Cart Club? Is that for myself or uh, the drivers? <laughs> so the top three close together and still staying together as the 99 is still looking for a uh, gateway past the 12 of Charlie White. As uh, we also have the invitation of the 15 of Luke McGall. Uh, coming to join the party. He's broke away from uh, fifth position and will be closing towards the top three very shortly. So around we go. Through to the right-hander. And then towards the top bend here. And the top three just all within reach and distance. The gap between... First and third is two tenths, so there's nothing in between these drivers here. Through the S's, down the back straight we go. So from the right-hander towards the top bend once again as the three just hanging in with each other none of these want to lose the positions as we are going side by side between the 12 and the 99 as the 99 just does stay behind going into Billy's and through the S as we go Nikita Roberts catching up with the driver in front of her or Zach Ormshaw She is catching quite fast coming down that back straight there. Meanwhile, back to our front as the uh, 12 of Charlie White defending uh, off the driver behind the 99 of Elijah White. Uh, that is going to be
close between those two. So Ethan Cousins leads away by just under half a second here. As, uh, like I said, Charlie White defending off, losing a bit of time as the 99 attacks forward. So another lap and the 99 is still trying to look for a gap to get past the 12 of Charlie White. Luke McGall is starting to close up on this party of three. And soon it will be a party of four to challenge that top position spot for today's final. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe we go. Then the right hander. Luke McGall goes fast, is out on circuit with a 40.85. So he's showing off some pace before we get closer to that top three as uh, Charlie Wright has now got himself on the rear of the, the WC. So around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. As they head on around there. Through the right-hander towards the top bend we go. And into Billy's once more. The top four close together. Dewey Hockridge uh, is 4.17 seconds behind uh, the fourth position in this race. Uh, but meanwhile, the 99 was looking at a gap before the hairpin. Does back off to stay in third. Playing it smart uh, just past the halfway mark of this race. So around the horse here we go to the right-hander and then towards the top bend. And we go once again. It is sticking where it is for now. The 99 is the only one at the moment showing a uh, attempt or uh, look to try and get ahead of the other drivers as we start to catch up with the 58 uh, of Daniel Barton. That is uh, one of our bat markers to shortly come through. So around the hairpin. Towards the horseshoe, the 99 taking a little bit of a wider line to get a bit tighter going through the horseshoe. Charlie White semi defending that one, but is on the rear of Ethan Cousins right there. And Luke McGall also challenging this too. These four are the four to watch in this race. And it is showing as we go into Billy's once more. No changes from these four and the entrance to it pass and through the S as we go as uh, we have our back marker of the 58 Daniel Barton being fast approached by our leaders here so going into the horseshoe the leaders decided to stay right on the back of our back marker but as we go to the right hander <coughs> gets out of the way and towards the top end we go. All four of them stay in the same spot. And those gaps stay in relatively the same. As a 99 looking at Charlie White in the 12. Does back off before Billy's. So through the S's down the back straight we go. As we go towards the hairpin. The only one driver having a look and does go for it. It's Luke McGall trying to have a go at the 99, swap places with the 99. And uh, Luke McGall now up into the top three, onto the podium positions here. And uh, the 99 has backed off just a little bit uh, with that gap. We'll see if uh, he will join back up to the rear in the next couple of minutes or so. But that is the first change in a couple of laps from these top four. So it's Ethan Cousins, Charlie White, Luke McGull, then Elijah White, uh, West. White? Whoops. 
Uh, through the S's down the back straight then, and uh, Charlie White is right up against the WC once again as we uh, head towards the hairpin now and towards the horseshoe. Charlie White just staying behind in this race uh, with the pace that he's got at this time. Uh, surprise, he hasn't gone ahead. So, down the main straight. As the 99ers uh, drop back from the top three here at this stage. Going into the S's. Charlie White still maintaining that tiny little gap that he has. Going into the hairpin once more. He's got to watch out for Luke McGall though. As uh, we've already seen Luke McGall will just go for it. As uh, Charlie White taking a more defensive shot through the horseshoe. To the right hander and then towards the top bend. Down the main straight we come once again. Charlie White just backed off a little bit from the leader to defend off Luke McGall. But as we go into Billy's, Luke McGall goes for the inside. Charlie White with a little bit more pace and edges out just slightly in front. But because of the S's, the 15 is ahead of the 12. And there is our next move. Luke McGall, the only one in that top four making positions in this race. And now Charlie White back defending the third position spot from the 99 this time round. So, top bend. Down the main straight. As we go in the inside, a lot of curb taken by the 99 there. Trying to get past Charlie White, and this time he does make it through on the S's. As we go through the hairpins, so we go back off once again around in this lap. Meanwhile, no other drivers making or changing positions here. Uh, Nikita Roberts staying in seventh position here. And there is a change on the live stream there. Now, this does mean that with uh, only seven seconds left on the clock, we don't have much time left for more changes to happen. As uh, we go into Billy's, nearly Nikita Robertson trying for another move once again. She is patiently waiting in that part. But nevertheless, we go back towards our top drivers here. As uh, they uh, start fast approaching one of our other n uh, back markers. See uh, 58 of Daniel Barton uh, once again as they go into Billy's. We are on the last lap of this race as well. So through the S's we go. It's the WC still leading, but it's Luke McGall that is charging Quite close as he tries to go down the inside. A bit of curb use, but he gets ahead on the hairpin. The 99 also having a look as well. Around the horseshoe. The 99 on the inside before the right-hander. Does stay behind for the minute, though. And coming down the main straight then. A, a last lap change. It's side by side for the finish. It's going to be close. A bit of touch in there before the end, but taking the checkered flag, it's going to be the 15 of Luke McGall, followed by Ethan Cousins and Elijah West. That is your top three. And let's not forget to mention Charlie White in fourth there. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the cadets done for that race. Uh, highest in the Honda Cadets is Luke McGall and the highest in the Rotax Cadets is Elijah West.
So we will go to the grid for the Intermax and my bladder, even though we just had a half an hour break, is just saying to me, you need to go. So we'll uh, go through the start of the Intermax race and then uh, Uh, then we'll fly on through. Which I don't think it's going to be the case.
Right then, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately missing out on the Intermax final there. Uh, Rook Thompson took the win overall on that one, so a bit of a change there on that one. Right then, so here's the Junior Rotax grid, and uh, let's see how this one goes. Uh, this is a big grid. So then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the big one then. When I say big one, I mean it's the biggest grid and the biggest final we have here as, uh, well, we have 19 drivers showing up on the screen. I wonder if we've got any more delayed in the pits at all, but nevertheless, let's get into this race then, ladies and gentlemen. Still waiting for a few stragglers as uh, we will be going straight round again. As uh, 27 finally pop up onto the screen, which is good news. All 27 out on circuit. So once more for the formation that we've got a retiree already as well in this final, and unfortunately. So 26 is the number, 26 of them. Ooh. Let's get in for this one, make that 25. <laughs> Not a great start from these two drivers here ending their final before it even begins. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, to the top bend and come on down the main straight. We are good to go in this final. It's the Junior Rotax final. 25 out of the 27 making it. Let's see how this one goes through. The S is down the back straight. And it's the 14 of Arthur Thacker leading the way. But for how long and how long it's going to be until the hairpin at least. Coming up towards the horseshoe next. Still leads the way. The 92 being attacked from behind. But I think that's the WC. And then towards the top bend here. Let's get going because this is when it begins. Right here. It's the beginning. So it's Arthur Thacker, Jack West, uh, Joshua Withcombe, Archie Buttle, Daniel Tribe, Emily Cotty, Jarek Metters, Logan Bennett, uh, Will Swales, and then Maxim Smith. Uh, but as we still go on through, Arthur Thacker still leads the way all in red. So round the hairpin towards the horseshoe. The top four splitting away from fifth as the uh, 53 of Jarek Metters trying to defend off the grid behind him. Uh, he's currently high up in the playing positions there. So more changes on the screen and on the timing and out on track. It is non-stop from here. The 11 trying to have a little bit of a uh, look before. Uh, in front of the 27 is Zach Fletcher down at the back of the grid trying to include everybody in this final as best as we can so around the hairpin towards the horseshoe tried the inside the 92 uh, luckily just uh, back until for that last second and as such will stay in second position for now so the 14 coming down the main straight will lead the way still as the uh, 92 is just planted on the rear of the driver in front of him Around Billy's, through the S's, down the back straight we go. As uh, Jarek Metters tries to join in as well. Down the inside goes the 92 on the 14. So the 92 now takes the lead of this race. And uh, Arthur Thacker just slots in behind for the second. As 5th uh, and 6th are trying to join this party as well. So from the top bend down the main straight, and yes, indeed, the top six are in the, it together. Seventh, eighth, and ninth we might be joining this one as down the inside. I think that's ninth onto eighth. It's going to switch back though, so that won't matter. Three of the S's down the back straight. It's a 66, I think that was, of Harrison Whittacombe. 
as the uh, 20K comes back onto the circuit from his off-road adventure. After the S is there. As uh, we've got a spinner on the exit of the hall, uh, hairpin there. We'll be able to get going. We'll find out a bit later on. Meanwhile, we have drops of rain on my window. Hold off for us, rain, please. So, Billy's through the S's. Down the back straight, the 92 leads. <laughs> so, around the horseshoe we go. Through the right hander. From the top bend and down the main straight we come. As we go on for more laps of this race, the slippery surface flags are out as one's in the tyres, two's in the tyres. It's, it's a bit deja vu to earlier, it's just like earlier. Even the tiniest bit of rain has affected this race, unfortunately chucking two drivers out of this one. We're going to stay off of that camera angle just for the minute. Meanwhile, our leaders are coming up from the top bend. So continuing on this race then, uh, I'm not going to be showing over down at Billy, so I'm going to be making sure I get the right camera angles here. Uh, so going around and it has been red flagged. Unfortunately, I think that red flag was long overdue, way long overdue. <laughs> That's my personal opinion on that one. That should have been done laps ago.
I'm not gonna lie, I think my opinion may have slipped out there as well. <laughs> uh, so just to let you all know that everybody is fine uh, in that one. Possibly just a bit, uh, a bit wounded or a bit winded. <laughs> but it's like I said earlier. So uh, we are under, still under red flags, but uh, both drivers are okay, which is the main and uh, most priority thing in this one. It's a bit like deja vu of earlier. It's just it's crazy how just the tiniest amount of rain that we get up here affects the track in a massive way. Uh, so yeah. So the rain is starting to fall here. As uh, I refresh the weather overlay. And uh, we are re-gridding by the looks of it. We might be just continuing where we are left off. We are just over halfway of this race. Possibly a single line restart on this one. Uh, but the uh, see where it comes to. We're probably going to be starting off in the order that it is on screen, or possibly a lap before that. Um, so do bear that in mind in a second. So we are possibly looking at a rolling start for this one potentially. So Arthur Thacker gets a re-go at uh, what he had earlier. But that's a grid, isn't it? The uh, WC of Joshua Withcombe sits for P4, so it looks like we'll be going off of what the grid is on screen. Oh, that's a picture, isn't it? Hmm. Screenshot! Hey! That's what I like. <laughs> Done now. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, what a race it was up until that point. So obviously, my commentary did sort of slow down at that point when I was just sort of just staring at what was going on. So hopefully, this next six minutes will be absolutely on point. So here we go then, ladies and gentlemen, we continue on with this race here. Uh, it looks like a single file rolling lap by the looks of it. So as we go towards the top bend. And down the main straight we come to... 
continue on with this race here. So around Billy as we go, a couple of drivers already making advantage of this restart. The uh, 56 gets up the head of the 53, I think that was. Around the hairpin we go. Horseshoe is next. And then we're around the horseshoe, through the right-hander, and then towards the top bend we go. And then we are back racing fully after this one. So, the 92 keeps his lead for now. A few drivers make up positions, a few loses. The uh, timing back onto the screen there. So going down towards the hairpin. To the horseshoe. Looks like the 24 of Archie Buttles in second. Has a lot of drivers here taking advantage of that restart. It's helped a few, but not another, and not others. So around into Billy's we go. One of those not fully taking advantage of that restart is Arthur Thacker, unfortunately, who's dropped down to fifth. So around the horseshoe we go there. A lot of the lines those who have taken will be going back to the ones at the start of the race and not uh, at this stage of the race. Obviously, with that standstill we had, tyres would have got cold and so much more. And one rolling up lap is not going to give you back about half a race worth of uh, heat from your tyres, but nevertheless, one person that doesn't isn't bothered by that is uh, Jack West out in front still. Archie Bustle, I think, is uh, still in second, the number 24. Followed by the WC, and then it is the 61 of Daniel Tribe. So down the main straight we come once again. Less than four and a half minutes remain. As a swap between the third and second happen. As uh, the WC now up into second position. Archie Buttle just being attacked from uh, everywhere at the moment. He's got three other drivers behind. And one of them is the 14 of Arthur Thacker. Also, Logan Bennett's in that fight as well. And uh, Jack West just continuing on this race like nothing ever happened. A gap of 1.7 seconds. And uh, even more changes now happening here through the S's, down the back straight, the 24, 14, 15, then 51. Sorry, 61, there we go. I was wondering why that does a random number. Baker numbers of uh, go up along here. So from the top bend down the main straight once again, and it's a 92 still leading this race. Let's see what this gap comes to. Uh, with Joshua Withicum, uh only two seconds behind, so the gap's increasing. Here the S is down the back of the straight, we go again. So, exit of the horseshoe, we've had a few touches there, and uh, this restart's really not going well for the 14. He's uh, now down to the back of the grid there. So the 24 still in third position, I think that is. Going through this order here. Bit of a gap to the 53 of Jarek Metters. Defending off most of the grid. Daniel Tribe, number 61, given a contact warning. So is Archie Buttle in the 24.
So one minute, 36 remains on the clock and we have some packed up areas in this grid. We've got the backpack here, all gridded up. We've got one retiring at the back there as well. As uh, they all come flying on through the grid, that's from the 36 downwards. As uh, it is Jasmine Taylor who's popped into pits here. Another contact warning given to Noah Pipes uh, in this race. Uh, meanwhile, Archibald's being caught up by 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th here. So quite a lot of that top 10 right behind him here now. And uh, with 56 seconds, anything could happen, especially with the drivers behind him at the moment. He's going to be claiming that third and final podium spot at the end of this day. We'll find out as we go through the S's, down the back straight. Going into the hairpin, there's swaps behind Archie Buttle. So it's the 24, then the 15. So Logan Bennett's got ahead of Jarek Metters. And uh, we go to top 20 seconds after the clock. So we squeeze out another lap in this race. So going into Billy's and it's going to be a swap or is it? Archie Bottle just squeezes through what looked like from my angle the tiniest of gaps just to keep ahead. Some superb driving there by the 24 to keep on that third. Two drivers behind become one. And a search has stopped there down at the hairpin and that's their race over. So back to the battle on the last lap of this race as well, by the way. Archie Buttle still retaining that third position. As we go on round, he's just really trying to keep it there as the driver behind him. The 6, six and 28, I think, is swap places as well. Uh, but nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to feast our eyes onto the uh, leader of this race and uh, we'll be taking the checker flag. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the checker flag for the Junior Rotax final after the restart is Jack West, Joshua Withcombe second, and Archie Buttle after three or four, possibly even six laps of non stop defending. Manages just to claw and keep that top three. Archie Buttle third, Ellis Snow fourth, Harrison Whittacombe fifth, Charlie Cott sixth, Emily Cotty seventh, Archie Lyons eighth, Charlie Parker ninth, Maxim Smith in tenth. All provisional results as always, as I say it over this here. And Billy Vaught, top novice as well. Uh, lost quite a few drivers in that one. Uh, so we had a total of 18 runners finishing that race. So there we go then, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Junior Rotax out of the way there. Uh, after the restart, just another note. Those uh, who didn't hear my message and tuned back in, uh, the uh, two drivers involved in that red flag incident are okay. Right then, so it's time for the Senior Rotax then. And uh, here is your grid. Leo Purchasing, Cameron Crockett on the front row. Uh, then you've got uh, Jamie Burton, Tom Rotherham on the second row. Bertie Wellesley, who... Uh, <laughs> Apparently was very excited on his heat to win, I was told, during the lunch break. Uh, and Finn Smith on the third row. Dan uh, Milner and uh, Evie Pellane on the fourth. Uh, Daniel Beards and Jack Maiman on the fifth row. Uh, Rosie Armstrong and Patrick williams Hog on the sixth. And then the last row will be Henry Stratton and Jamie Bradfield. Still processing <laughs> that race. <laughs> 
sailor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the next race, the penultimate final here that we have. It's the senior Rotax next, as uh, all 14 drivers head out onto circuit.
I just realised the microphone was muted. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. It's been great commentary as well. Dang it. So around the hairpin we go towards the horseshoe. And uh, as I've been saying, the 88-19 still have unfinished business here. So through the S's down the back straight we go and it's uh, the 88 who is uh, still ahead of the 19 here. 44 still being shown blue flags for the rest of the field trying to get ahead. So down the main straight we come we got a minute and five seconds left on the clock here. As we fly through the closing stages here. Billy's, S's and back straight. Into the hairpin we go and towards the horseshoe. The 19 still staying close to the rear of the 88 here. Top bend. And down the main straight yet again, 34 seconds on the clock. So Leo Purchase is going to give us another lap of this race and uh, grant us some more racing from our front runners here. So down the main straight then, and we'll get to our final lap of this race. The last lap board is out, and this is it. One last opportunity for Finn Smith to claim back second, or the one last opportunity for the 88 to defend second. What's it going to be as we go into the hairpin? More drivers a little bit further back looking to overtake once again. Around the right-hander we go. And towards the top bend. So, ladies and gentlemen, going to be taking the checkered flag for this race and winning for the Senior Road Tax Final for round five. It's going to be Leo Purchase. Cameron Crockett will take second. Finn Smith will take third for the podium positions. Jack Maiman will take fourth. Dan Milner fifth. Tom Rotherham sixth. Bertie Wellesley will finish out in seventh with Evie Pallane eighth. Daniel Beers ninth. And Jamie Bradfield tenth. And at the end of that one, top novice will go to Henry Stratton. And uh, I want to apologise. I think that's been... Uh, I think my mic was muted since... Uh, the, I feel like from the junior road tax after the red flag. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That was actually a really good race I was commentating there. So there's a grid for the 177 and 177 Masters. I can't be racing today due to an ankle injury. See you at the next round, Harrison Crook. Good to see you in the chat, buddy. Uh, I did overhear that during the week. Um, so, yeah, hopefully your ankle does get better real soon.
So we go again for the 177 and 177 Masters here, and they they just they just bring the weather with them, don't they? It's raining again. It's, it's, it's raining again. So, down we go to start this race on off. And uh, I think they're going to be steady treading, <laughs> I think the words are going to be. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> the rain is just not on their side today. Well, it is on their side if they want it, but it's not really. So, down the back straight we go towards the hairpin. And we're going to have uh, probably what is the slowest final to end off this uh, off this round here. So who's going to end out on top after a uh, first lap appearance here? And uh, by the looks of it, it's going to be the 46. But we'll double check with that one as uh, the order's on the left-hand side of the YouTube live stream. Uh, so it's Ian Branfield, then Ben Johnson, Derek Hunt, Jason Bear, Cameron Marston, and James Frost. That is your top six and only six as the uh, rain starts to keep coming down here at the circuit. A lot of them having to use the curb a fair bit there to just get around the uh, horseshoe. So down the main straight we come. And the 46 backing out there with the uh, with the weather we got here. All of them sensibly being slow to not get caught out by the weather. Obviously, one spin in this weather, and that is your race practically done. Especially all of them on slicks out there. So let's watch them carefully go around the hairpin. Same with the horseshoe, the 61 riding that curb as best they, he can. Uh, ben Johnson using that curb to his advantage to uh, maintain P2, but also not to go too deep into the corner. So down they come. All of them backing off real early, the 22 nearly dipping a tyre into the uh, gravel. Well, it's not really gravel, but it's the same thing. Through the S as we go. Uh, it's the uh, five that are just really taking it steady. The 46 of Ian Branfield just going through this like it's nothing. The 81s of James Frost taking a bit of a wider entrance into the horseshoe. Uh, but meanwhile... Ian Branfield goes over the line, and then about four seconds later goes Ben Johnson.
So I uh, left it a couple of minutes there. Uh, we have uh, the 81 of James Frost who's got into the pits. Um, but yeah, this this weather is just not on their side today. I think 90% uh, of their day has been in the wet. <laughs> um, which uh, is a real shame. We do get some uh, quite quite good races from the 177s. Um, yeah, but it's been a even with their small grid, uh, you do get some really good racing from these guys. Uh, so yeah, this is just really slowing down the action that we could get. Uh, the 22, Derek Hunt, did get ahead uh, of Ben Johnson a couple of laps ago. Um, but the pace is just not really there for most of these. Uh, Ian Brownfield in the 40, 40.7. Uh, Derek Hunt and uh, everybody else in the 41, 42s. Um, so <laughs> And Branfield, uh, I'm going to say, is quite familiar with the conditions. <laughs> um, but yeah, not really much going on here. I think Ben Johnson's struggling a little bit in places. He's really having to use the curbs here. Uh, we've had just uh, Jason Bear there uh, just get in front of uh, in front of him. Him, Branfield, just uh, feathering the throttle there. You can just about hear him then. But there we go. So with uh, five and a bit minutes to go, so just over halfway, we've only lost one driver in this one as uh, we still have lots more time to go. And uh, let's see if the 64, what 64 is going to do as we go into the hairpin. It looks like uh, Ben Johnson's really struggling at the hairpin. That seems to be his uh, bit of a uh, struggle point. It is a very challenging corner, to be fair. So there goes Ian Brownfield. Feathering and drifting away. And the 22's ooh, <laughs> trying some pace there uh, as he nearly dips onto the... Uh, what is dead grass? Because it's been so warm this week. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't have thought of it, would you? Really warm. There's no such thing up here, is there? Rain, isn't it? Ooh, I bet Johnson trying to go for a move there. And uh, going at threat. He's just really riding that curve. The 64 down the inside. 61 having to go wide. He does claim it back. Just, yes, he does. Just at the exit of uh, the right-hander there. <laughs> So we'll uh, leave you with this action for a couple of more minutes and then we will come back for the round off of this race.
say then was he had some extra commentary over on the YouTube live stream. But we're coming now to the last minute of this race as uh, all of these just uh, trying to fly through the track as the 61 tries to remove at Billy's and backs off uh, just after being side by side with. Uh, but Ian Branfield leading by 9.32. That is the biggest gap of this weekend. So we're going to squeeze out the last two laps of this race. As uh, Ian Branfield goes into the Billies. And then uh, Derek Hunt in second position. Jason Bear third, Ben Johnson fourth and Cameron Marston fifth. Uh, we did lose uh, James Frost on lap four of this race really early on uh, in the stages. As uh, it's still raining here, unfortunately. But there we go, it's Clay Pigeon, isn't it? <laughs> So last lap then, and uh, Ian Branfield has really only one word for it, dominance. Uh, he has uh, just took control of this race from the beginning and uh, controlled with ease in this weather. So to the right hander uh, towards the top bend then. And to take the last win of this race weekend, it's going to be the number 46 of Ian Branfield. He uh, took the lead straight from the beginning. Uh, next up will be the 22 of Derek Hunt, followed by Jason Bear, Ben Johnson, then Cameron Marston. That is your provisional result just there. Ian Branfield winning that one. Fastest out there was actually Derek Hunt with a 37.76 set on the last lap there. So then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> well, that's it. That's all of them. A uh, bit of a quieter and peaceful start to the end. Uh, <laughs> peaceful start to the end. That made sense uh, of this race weekend. So hopefully you did all enjoy today's racing. If you do want to catch up with the next month's racing, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and get notified when the next live stream is due and uh, so much more as well. Stay tuned later uh, for the trophy presentation. But otherwise, we shall see you all soon. Ta-ta for now.